Why am I doing this today? What is wrong with me? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another stream. I know we just went over all the zero stuff last time, and I thank everybody that sat through that four hour long just rubbing. I, I was literally just dragging my own dick and balls through broken glass, like just trying to understand that entire story. So I want to thank everybody that came out today. Let's get it started. We are going to war, chat. We're going to war. Do you not see this? We're going to war. I got the outfit on. I got I got the camo. We're going to war. The reason we're going to war is because we need to have a conversation. We need to have a conversation, chat. And this, unfortunately, is a conversation that some people aren't going to like. And I don't fucking care. I'm going to be really honest with all of you. I don't care if you get mad at my opinions here. So let's get started and rip the band-aid off. I don't like furries. I don't like them. I don't. Your whole community is deranged. Now, don't get me wrong. There might be a handful of good furries in the world or whatever, but I don't see it. I refuse to see it. And if you think that I am going to be nice, uh, it's not going to happen. Now... I know everyone wants to talk about the KSI, uh, Gideon, Cabos thing. I'm like, you know what? You know what? We'll talk about that later. But I want to talk about something else. Because this this is from old, old Chris the Narc lore. Um, when I used to do uh, reaction style, like really old school, like reaction style content, right? Like when I was doing the retrospective shit, like early on. I covered somebody called hypnotist sappho now if you don't know who they are i will give you like a very brief rundown and you're not going to like the rundown because you're all gonna want to kill yourselves like i did so this individual was caught uh <laughs> dating a minor uh, a self-proclaimed map uh, a map is somebody that uh likes children but hasn't had sex with them yet you know they're a non-offending pedophile then they also uh, came out that they have sex with their German shepherd. Uh, thank you, Stephen, for the subscription. Uh, they, they came out uh, that they had sex with their own German shepherd. Uh, that's, that's also a good one. Uh, let's see here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What else do I need to know? Yeah, those are the oh 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 I remember. Uh they were they were a VTuber hypnotist. So they would go into VTuber lobbies and hypnotize people in in VR chat. Let me repeat that to you. They hypnotized people in VR chat. Like that did something. Um That's retarded. And if you think that VR hypnosis is a thing, you're stupid. And I know Neko, one of my oldest mods and viewers, is a huge fan of VR chat. Neko, I'm not coming at you, dude. But I think the VR chat community has a problem. Now, this person got exposed for everything under the sun right like turkey tom made a video a lot of the furry community made videos on this person they got outed and they outed themselves as enjoying a again enjoying having sex with their dog i cannot get over that part and i'm gonna keep repeating it until you understand why it's so fucking deranged to hear that but i want to say i want to i want to start off with the donos uh to the start of the show uh Burstered? I have no idea how to pronounce your name, bro. Thank you for the re-up of the membership. Yo, Narc stream. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. So we have this lined up first. And then I'm hearing through the grapevine that Kavos might drop a full video on the space that had Jideon and him arguing about KSI. We're going to talk about that too if it does get dropped. Uh, if it doesn't, by the time I feel like the stream is losing its steam, then we'll just do it tomorrow. But... This, the reason I'm talking about it today is because Sappho has come back into the news. Now, this 
situation here, this individual named Coyote Lovely. I just, just look at that banner. Ugh. 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 So this person was the furries... Uh, own version of what they would call a predator hunter. You know how like EDP had Chet Goldstein and the predator poachers. Um, this dude was like that, right? Like they, he would go around exposing uh, pedos in the uh, the furry community and degenerates in the community. Look into my eyes, Chris. Okay. You will talk about something else. This is my stream, bitch. Thank you for the five. But this person. Uh, actually used to expose predators in the community, right? So, you know, you have Cord Kitty, who's a complete degenerate that would have sex with dead animals, apparently. Uh, this person apparently was into kids. It, like, and they actually, unironically, have one of the most viewed videos and for Hypnotist Sappho. This person actually helped expose Sappho in the beginning. Now, you're saying to yourself, Chris... Why is this why is this creator uh being talked about right now? Why why is the why are you talking about this creator right now? And Quantum Kitty, yes, true master, master Mr. Gamer. Why are you talking about this guy right now? Did, he did something good, you know? He did he did something good. He he exposed a pedophile and a dog fucker. <laughs> well, well, some information's come out about this person. If you can tell by the title here, which I want to give a shout out to Hopeless Peaches. Uh, I know some people don't like her. Some people do. It's whatever. Um, but Hopeless Peaches put together an entire expose video on Coyote Lovely. This entire breakdown of this person and their involvement with Sappho. And I'm going to tell you right now. This person had sexual relations with Sappho over DMs and they were afraid they were going to be indoctrinated into liking animal sex. This person, again, exposed Sappho, the person I was telling you about. This person committed a gay op to try and get information out of Sappho and then proceeded to get artwork made of their personas. Uh, they proceeded to have sexually charged conversations with Sappho. Uh, kind of committing the ultimate sin when you're doing an investigation on somebody is to get sexually involved with them, even over Discord. So, Hopeless Peaches puts together an entire video on Coyote Lovely. And we are going to watch it. We're going to watch it all the way through. And I'm going to torture you fuckers like I was tortured. Are these in properly? Hold on. It sounds scuffed. That's why. There you go. I smoke gelato. Uh, every flavor of Parma G G G Gianna. Damn, I sound important. Risk game loco in the warmest. Uh, did anyone just notice all the artwork before we get started? Uh, let's see something. Every flavor. Uh, there, there you go. Um, Me 23, her 16. Ha <laughs> ha, wow, lol. Okay, okay, okay. Um, where is the, uh, where's the, uh, where's the, uh, hold on. Yeah, where's the Simba one? That's why, there you go. I smoke gelato, uh, every flavor of Parma G G G G Where is it? I want to see it. Oh, there it was. Oh, you saw it again! You saw it again! I can't get it on there. My pause game is apparently weak for this, like, one frame. Um, but there you go! <laughs> we can call again soon. Okay, low-key, would love to get some art of your soda doing that to my Sona. I do want to know what this song is. It's actually a banger song. I think, it, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a Baby No Money song. If I'm being honest, I can't believe a baby no money song is being ripped into this. The warmest, getting weak, need reinforcements. Now I'm going ridiculous. Hello, everyone.
everyone, this is Hopeless Peaches and welcome to the channel if- Joke's on you, bitch, I already been tortured. Not just by Peaches video, but like Lilo Cowboy's video. Well, I'm sorry you're getting tortured a third time. If you're new and if you're returning, welcome back. I was hoping to not have to make another long call-out video on anyone since my Camilla Koivas video for at least a long while. Maybe kick my feet up, get over the side effects of trialing medication lately. It's a doozy. And just, you know... Relax for a bit. Did I get that? No, of course I didn't. Instead, I experienced one of the most hectic weekends online in a while. I found out someone who I was friendly with and was close to a few of my loved ones was fraternizing with proud predators and zoos. So imagine that. Imagine, imagine that. Th this person's your friend, right? I don't, I don't know why Peaches is friends with a furry, but okay. Um, anyways, let's, because we're going to war against the furries. You need to understand what stream this is. You need to understand what we're going to war on. The furries. Imagine being a friend of somebody and you find out that they've been having sexually charged conversation with a proud pedophile and a zoophile. Imagine imagine those words imagine the words imagine first i'm impersonating a cop now i'm impersonating a marine <laughs> to the point of enabling their disturbed behavior and throwing victims under the bus you know just real hero stuff since some certain people <coughs> alex <coughs> are you know crying on kiwi farms about me taking my time on this video i hope which is funny that she found out that somebody that was in part of the investigation is a Kiwi farmer. Which, if you don't know, Kiwi Farms actually helped drop the biggest dossier on zoo sadists and zoophiles in human history. That's how Cord Kitty got found out. That's how um, Carol the Wolf got found out. All those people that you've heard from Tom's shit. That entire dossier was leaked. Medicare covered it at one point in its entirety and it was completely Whoa. disgusting. What is your fursona, Chris? I hope it's hilarious. I don't have one because I don't want one. But the thing is, <clears throat> imagine somebody who's on Kiwi Farms, <coughs> who knows that the th the threads exposed all that shit, and you are working in tandem with Sappho. Now you can finally chill out. So get yourself a nice warm beverage, or an alcoholic one, as today we shall talk about the undercover agent 007 himself, Coyote Lovely. Coyote Lovely's channel was established in 2011, with him making commentary content in 2019. His channel mainly consists of several videos on alleged or self-admitted zoos, including Quantum Kitty and Cord Kitty. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of kitties out there. While making a reputation for himself as a predator hunter with his friend Lyle Convoy. Coyote rose to prominence with his video on an infamous predator called Hypnotist Sapphire, which gained over 250,000 views. So do you see that right off the bat? I know we already talked about this, but think about it. I want you guys to think about this particular instance, right? This specific situation, this individual originally exposed Sappho. They actually have one of the highest view videos in the community. In the furry community, I guess you want to call it. Because I know Tom's video on Sappho fucking blew up, right? So, when it comes to commentary channels talking about it, the viewership's different. Because each community is different. But, Coyote Lovely was one of the largest that helped that exposed Sappho. How did they get mixed up with doing sexually charged conversations with Sappho? Detailing. That's exactly the point of this, Empress. When you gay up so hard that you want to fuck them. Exactly. Exactly. All the disgusting acts that she had done. Coyote was known for a strict sense of moral justice when dealing with predators, openly condemning people that preyed on animals or children, as well as those who associated with them. This made Coyote trustworthy and had viewers look to him as both a content creator and a predator hunter. Considering Coyote held such strict morals, it was imperative that those morals never wavered, because if they did, it would be detrimental for his channel and himself. So why don't we have a look together at the timeline of events that happened which caused someone like Coyote Lovely to fall from grace. Ugh. <laughs> the first zoo. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, you sick degenerate bastard. You're going to have a conversation with a drill sergeant here. You're going to have a conversation with a drill sergeant. All you sick, degenerate fucks that like to have sex with animals. 
need to be locked up. I want electroshock therapy to come back. I demand it. I demand electroshock therapy. And if you wish to debate me on it, don't because I'll call you an idiot. And I won't change my position. I will literally like stay in my, I will literally plant my feet. If you come to me and you say, Chris, having sex with animals is totally fine. I will look at you and I will have you admitted into a mental asylum. I will handcuff you myself and drag your ass to a mental asylum where I hope electroshock therapy is still done there. Look like Captain Sparkles. What? I'm better if looking at the, the Captain or Sparkles. Other videos from people such as Lander, you may already know who Sokolo is. If you're not familiar, I can sum him up as Sokolo, a furry and predator hunter in their mid-30s, was outed for joining zoophile groups on Telegram as a way to get information on such people. During that time, Sokolo became a zoophile himself and was caught expressing desires to be, you know, bang. Chris and Ark, you should know Coyote is in his mid-30s and he allowed himself to get swooned by Sappho, who's in their 20s. <laughs> That's not a sentence I did. I, that's, that's not a sentence I wanted to read. By a dog to do the non contango with his boyfriend and to have orbited a minor until he became 18 years old to then date them during a stressful time in their life. A brilliant person. This and more was all done to appear righteous and noble for fasona pins. No, I'm not making that up. You refuse to interact with the people accusing you on Kiwi Farms, even if you have. So, mind you. Hopeless Peaches is building context right now of a completely different zoophilia situation, right? Completely different conversation involving this other furry. Because Coyote Lovely is in this call, and they're helping expose things. But you're going to see Coyote kind of, like, be a little weird on certain points. Damning evidence against them. Instead, you spam a link wherever people accuse you outside of Kiwi Farms, realizing... Literally also, if you're enjoying your time, make sure you like the stream. Every like means that we send another one of these degenerates to a mental asylum. Nothing about the fact that this does not actually help your case. You interact with minors concerning sexual topics despite knowing the fact that your previous Zoophiles Drugs account under its previous owner got in trouble for far worse actions because you don't look at the op optics of that. You're still operating Zoophiles Drugs accounts even though people are constantly accusing you of nonsense. For what purpose? I really, really want for some of pins. Truly a compelling villain backstory. So sad. So sad. Imagine being caught now, this is not even Sappho or Coyote yet. This is a totally different person. Imagine being caught. Imag think about this. Imagine. Imagine being caught. You are talking to minors and doing weird shit with minors. And your response is, we do a little trolling and I did it for pins. Pins. Pull a grenade pin while you're holding it in your mouth. That's all I'm going to say. Now, this story affected Coyote Lovely's credibility somewhat when this information was revealed around November of 2022, since Coyote was Zakolo's friend and roommate for a period of time during the events that took place. Coyote was previously defending Zakolo in a private call with Lyle Convoy during the time they were still living together in May of that year. In an isolated bubble, one could argue that Coyote just, you know, defended a friend from, at the time, scattershot claims. Even though I wasn't around when the call took place, listening to the playback was... <laughs> I never thought that there was a female 445. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, just as a reminder, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you do want me to read your chat more than anyone else, I will be forced to listen to it if you donate through uh, Super Chats. So unbelievably frustrating. It genuinely doesn't feel right to tone police people who were mad at Coyote back then when I was pulling my hair out listening to this crap. You uh, openly ask questions about sex ed and experience regarding sex uh, to people of any age, which included minors. Can you explain to me the rationale of that or the relevance of that? I mean, I made a post asking what people learned in sex ed and people responded. Do you think that was something appropriate to discuss? I don't understand the problem with going on Twitter and asking what people learned in sex ed, especially if it relates to, like, like, I mean, sex ed is for minors. Uh. Okay. 
chat, I'm going to pose you a question real quick. If you have a platform, should you be tweeting out what did you learn in sex ed? And then when you're confronted with that, do you respond rationally and say, oh, well, it was just a shitty tweet? Or do you go, well, yeah, minors are in sex ed. Excuse me. You degenerate fuck. Um, you shouldn't really be asking kids their opinions on that sort of thing. Can, can I ask a question so I, very quickly? I, I just want to... Zooier than now. I see you, Nimbus. I see you, Nimbus. Zooier than now. Oh. Ho, ho. I'm 90% sure that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Nimbus, that's the podcast about guys that talk about having sex with animals, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. This is why we're going to war. This is why we're wearing the outfit. We're wearing the fit. We're wearing the fit. We're wearing the fit. Yes, plants. Yes. There is a podcast currently on YouTube talking about having sex with animals and how that's normal. Yes. That is on YouTube right fucking now. I want to clarify, just since I am recording, the, the question, was that just in a tweet not directed at anybody, or was it directed at somebody? It no, was it was just on, a... It was, yeah, it was a tweet on his account. Yeah. Okay, he but was my question... In general. He didn't specify age, he just said any age. Uh, okay. Or actually, the specification was any age. Okay, so it was not directed at anybody in general. I think... Okay, so it basically was asking a general question to the people following the account. Is that accurate? Mm-hmm. Okay, I just wanted to have that on record. That doesn't mean any... Okay, so Coyote's position is like, well, you know, they didn't, like, directly say it at anyone. Hey, um, let me, let me kind of, like, think... Let, let me, let me say something to you real quick, um, you degenerate fucker. Uh, let me, let me kind of, like, blow your lid a little bit. When you were interviewing somebody who's being accused of doing weird sexual shit, uh, maybe, just maybe, understand that regardless of where the information was sent, whether it was publicly or privately, it's still fucking weird. You don't need to discern between the two. If they go, yeah, I did tweet that, and then their answer is, and minors go to sex ed, you should be going, you're a freak. Not trying to clarify any other additional information like that. You should be like, you're a freak. You're, you are a freak. Like, an absolute freak. Because I'm I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100%, that some people are minors on the internet. Oh! Maybe, maybe, maybe don't do that. Here's an example. When I started my career early on on YouTube, right? I was on Twitter. And there was this girl that was posting, like, naked photos of herself, like, actual full vagina showing, tits and everything, right? I saw it in a thread. Do you want to know the beginning of the thread? It was some fucking kid posting something on Twitter. We roasted the shit out of her because she replied to it and then argued with everybody. She's like, no, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Just because he's a kid, I can still post my nudes in his thread. Excuse me? There was a whole, I'm not joking. You could probably still find it on my Twitter timeline. Like if you go back like a whole year or something, I was in a fucking heated argument with this bitch. There is no context. Don't do that. Don't be a freak. That's that's literally all I'm trying to say. And this person is a freak. Carlo, how old are you? I'm 33. Okay. 33 years old. 33. 30 fucking three old. 33 years old. And they are tweeting shit like that. Bruh. 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 You're definitely old enough to know what we're talking about and know better than this. If you would you walk up to a, a literal child and ask what they were taught in sex ed, like one on one in real life? No, but if Why? I make Why? a post on Why? Why? Because talking to children is bad. Because yes. talking to children it's bad. what they learn concerning sexual education 
if you are an adult is inappropriate. That's what hate's getting at and what you seem to be struggling with. So, okay, um, on Twitter, what, what do you recommend uh, to, I, I don't know, like, do I Before you ask that, it? hold on, hold on, before you ask that, I want you to take a look real quick. Without clicking on the link, just look at what you posted, the sad, the solid skunk evidence. Do you see what it says right underneath that? Yeah. Thank you all for us. Okay. Uh, 18 plus, not safe for life content inside. 18 plus only, yeah, that's what you do. It's not difficult. You already know how to do it. And just, again, because I'm recording, I do want to clarify, this was not a directed question, but it was also not... The precautions were essentially just not put in place that should have been. That's kind of the criticism here? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't... I'm just, not going to say that I necessarily was... disagree with that. There, That's definitely something that could be fixed. Sorry, right, Dominic. Thanks for stopping. If you were in the town square, if you were on a box, if you had a speakerphone, and you wanted people to come up and tell you their experience with sex ed, if a child walked up and tried to talk to you, would you accept it? Or would you turn him away? I... Why did you take so long to answer that? Why did you take so long to answer that? Why did you take so long to answer that? Why did you take so long to answer that? Why did you take so long to answer that? Why did you take so long to answer that? Why did you take so long to answer that? Do I have to repeat myself again? Why did you take so long to answer that? No! I wouldn't be in that kind of situation. You're a freak. You're a freak. A freak. You. Right there. The one that has the green ring around their fucking profile is a freak. Let me, like... Like, it's, it's... I don't know, it's just... In, I'm not sure if it's appropriate to actually sit on a street corner with a microphone. Oh my God. For this... How are you? Hold, hold on. For this, for this particular... Uh... Talking to this person... Is like debating flamenco. They fo they they autistically focus on one specific issue, and they don't deviate from that one specific issue if it doesn't fit what they want to hear. Even if it's about something entirely different, they will stick on this one issue and not let shit go. A comparison. We'll just say that's not what the factor is, and we'll just just take it as a one to one sort of thing. Don't don't fixate on whether or not it's appropriate to have a microphone in the street corner it's the subject matter of the discussion not necessarily how it's being enacted if i'm understanding this correctly uh, basically it's it's taking the conversation that's in public on twitter and putting it in public in real life and asking what you think acceptable conduct would be in that context no i don't think the internet can be compared to real life there are human beings on the internet there are human beings on the internet that's like saying uh lolly and i'm gonna piss off a lot of people. You could clip this. I don't care. Um, lolly people that enjoy Lollycon, uh, their usual defense is, well, it's just fake. It's not real. It's a uh, depiction of a small child. It's not that big of a deal. You are, and I'm going to say it real slow. I'm going to say it real slow. A pedophile. Saying that the internet isn't a real place doesn't under they it, it doesn't make sense because there are human beings inside of the internet. People interact in the internet. You can still talk. There are minors on the internet, unfortunately. Don't do that. Okay, is there anything I can probably translate whatever points you want to make for Sir Carlo? Sir Carlo's kind of special. I'm sorry, Zerkalo. I love you, but you're kind of special. No, no, so, no, 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 no. I appreciate that, Coyote, but zerkalo has got to learn to stand on, I don't know what their pronouns are, but their own two doggone feet. You are 33 years old. 33. Yeah. I do not need communication in memes. I do not need communication in inside jokes. What I need is yes and no's and genuine reasons why things happen. If, okay. you do not if you do not understand why you should understand certain things, asking that question is fine, but be aware you are 33 refuse to interact with the people accusing you on kiwi farms even if you have damning evidence against them instead you spam a link wherever people accuse you outside of kiwi farms realizing literally nothing about the fact that this does not actually help your case you interact with minors concerning sexual topics despite knowing the fact that your previous zoophile drugs account under its previous owner got in trouble for far worse actions because you don't look at the op optics of that you're still operating zoophile drugs accounts even though people are constantly accusing you of nonsense for what purpose i really really want for some of the kids <laughs> Okay. 
this person makes a point that it's like, why are you doing this? Answer me. Yes or no. Actually have a conversation. Uh, did you notice that Coyote Lovely laughed at that? Where they were like, I just want fursona pins. That's why I did this. Did you not hear all of these retards except for the lion guy in the middle laugh? Did nobody else hear that? Did nobody else hear that? Am I the only one that heard them laugh at that? Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't no, like them no. having a fun time! I'm sorry. This I'm is really not... sorry. Man, this is I'm not in the mood to joke! This isn't this funny! This isn't a joke! What is it? I'm like. trying... I can hear the cat in the background. The cat is kind of upset right now, so I think that might be something to do with it. No. I, did, I didn't come in here wanting to yell at you, but when I'm asking you very specific direct questions and you turn it into a joke, that's not funny to me. That's not a joke. But you literally said, like, the dumbest reason. I, I started to... But you, but, you, but you laughed at it. You, you, you laughed at it. Most of the people in this call, other than uh, Leo... Laughed at it. Laughing hmm. afterwards. Do you not understand that that is how somebody sees something as a joke? Oh, hold on. No. In fairness, I started laughing. I think that was a response to me laughing. Oh, so you laughed at somebody using the excuse of, "Oh, I just wanted pins to talk because they wanted to talk to miners." Yeah, Coyote. Uh huh. Mm hmm. It was like they're hand like they're not really handmade, but they're made. By an artist. What does this and have to do with the Zoophile Strugs account? I was banned from their chat room for just existing. What are you going on about? Okay, hold on. It's Let's, not going to make sense. Hold on. Hold, it, on. It, hold on. Just everybody, hold on. Can we just, like, for one second, just regroup and just get everyone on the same page of what the exact topic is? Just that way so we can get really clear answers and move forward with this. Because even I'm starting to get lost because of everything that's happened now. <laughs> T-I-L-R is so... Oh, poor bastard. You poor bastard. What does this have to do with pins? Well, when I got banned from the Fursona pins for... We're going like, to war against the furries. Nazi and everything, I told myself that that... <laughs> Wait a minute. You're telling me the person that wanted to talk to miners said that they were a not People were saying they were a Nazi? <laughs> You deserve it. Needs to change. Like, I need to show people I'm a better person. What do pin? Do you think that if you if you run this account long enough that they'll let you back in the server? Maybe. Why do you even want to be back in that server? I want friends. Leo Convoy isn't a furry. He's the most sane one in the group, and he doesn't joke around. Yeah, I'm not laughing at Leo. I haven't said anything negative about Leo at all. I think Leo is fucking killing it here. It's this retard that I have an issue with. I think you can well, get I'm... friends without to without trolling around with really really stupid furries. Well, you hear that, Coyote? <laughs> Hold on, I'm not just... gonna. I'm not gonna. Can I just have a minute, please? Seriously, why is Coyote downplaying the concerns brought up in this call? You want Sokolo's mother, and it doesn't do you any favours. Sokolo is over 30 years old, and even their excuses as to why they can't help themselves are over a decade out of date. Like. Jesus! Even though Coyote brought this on himself, I have to extend criticism to everyone involved in this call for allowing Coyote to wipe Zakolo's ass in the first place and let him- Which is a fair criticism because I was criticizing this entire phone call. There shouldn't have been a moment where this girl had a moment to breathe. She should have been kneeled on the entire time. If you're in a phone call or a Discord call with somebody who is confessing to you guys that they have done degenerate shit like this kneel on them kneel on them don't laugh with them kneel on them i agree with the criticism leo listen you did what you could but like you, kneel kneel on them all of them and this weasel deflects from any serious line of questioning it is so stressful especially in hindsight no wonder Coyote was adamant to not post this call. Sir Carlo is a stupid man. He's not a female. Okay, I apologize. Publicly. To make I had no idea. Yeah, right. The full call makes Sir Carlo sound worse. Along with you. 
When more coherent information came to light, Coyote did eventually make a video on Sakalo of December of 2022. I have to say, as a side note, it is kind of funny that Coyote kept hyping that he was going to make this video on Sakalo up, yet he had probably the least information in his video than any other. Like, how do you do this when you're on the front lines, dude? You said nothing new. Coyote would later reveal he was fearful of being public with researching Zakalo due to Coyote confining in him with personal information that he didn't want aired to the public, most notably his fear that he could one day become desensitised to and engage in the act of zoophilia. So this Okay. Okay. Did anyone catch that? Did anyone catch that? You know the coyote person that I was shitting on incessantly during that call? Uh, they were concerned about going public with any of the information because they would be desensitized and engage in zoophilia. That them running the ops that they do would corrupt them into having sex with him. Imagine, okay, imagine this. Imagine Chris Hansen. Ima imagine this. Imagine if, um, all right, let's remove animal fucking. Let's remove the animal fucking. Let, let's let talk about, like, let, let me give you an hyper, let me give you a, uh, a hypothetical situation, right? Or, or maybe an analogy is a better term for this. Uh, an analogy. Chris Hansen was going out catching predators. Um... And he would do his show. He would be like, sit down, have a coffee. Uh, you're going to jail. Do you think Chris Hansen ever thought at any point that he would start becoming a pedophile for hunting the pedophiles? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how logical brains work. That's not how logical brains work. Let's read this. I'm curious. I didn't read this when I reviewed this video before we we talked about it. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Coyote Lovely. This was in 2021, well before the recovery mov uh, movement. Well before the concept that anti-C zoo files existed. These logs in 2021 would have signified to zoos that you are a zoophile. It's no longer like that now. People can escape. I sacrificed everything. Okay, let's see this. Coyote Lovely. I'm worried about a lot of things. I'm worried about those things, but also the psychological abuse they put people through. Like, I bully people who are into things that create victims, but that community outright tries to reprogram how you think by making you question your reality in ways you never did. I'm worried they'll push me. Uh, th they'll push that whole he likes... He's a creepy crypto zoophile. Uh, what is a zoophile? They are people that have sex with animals. Uh, narrative as hard as they can while making that kind of art. And those fantasies will just start warping how I think in conjunction with the gaslighting until it just becomes reality. Like, I genuinely fear the idea of being brainwashed into believing something that deranged is acceptable. How are you going to be brainwashed? By gaslight? What What are you, a fucking idiot? Brainwashed into zoophilia through gaslighting? That doesn't make any fucking sense. That doesn't make any fucking sense. At all. How are you so weak-minded that you would even consider that a thing that may happen? <laughs> I just... <sighs> uh, I, I, I get that, Hannah Barry, but like, God, I'm going to keep a buck, dude. I'm going to keep a buck, whatever, male, female, they, them. I, I don't know who you are in chat. Your community has a problem. Uh, and we both have seen them groom people into those beliefs. I'm worried about having my brain played with and molded into something it shouldn't be and isn't. How are you that concerned of something like this happening? How weak-minded are you? 
it would be reasonable for Coyote to perhaps take a step back from hunting predators if this was his growing fear, or at least safeguard by not directly interacting with them at all for his own well-being, never mind his reputation. But, you know, that's using logic, rationale, common sense, a sense that Coyote apparently doesn't subscribe to. <laughs> oh god, now we're getting into the fuck. we're getting into the fucking disgusting part of this. As previously mentioned, Hypnosis Sappho had been a very infamous person online. Person in quotation marks, mind you. Sappho is a 23-year-old proud map and zoo who had posted- Man, uh, hey chat, let's look up what a map is, huh? Uh, definition. Okay, I guess it doesn't come up in Google search, thank God! openly about their pride in their relationships with children. Coyote Lovely had made three videos on Sappho, the earliest of which was October 8th of 2021. All of them garnered quite a lot of traction. He was so vocal about this degenerate that although many others also spoke about Sappho... You I'm not looking that up in her dictionary, Jax. Minor attracted person, true. So, so Sappho is a self-admitted minor attracted person who had sex with their dog. I am going to say that until I am blue in the face for you to understand how deranged this person is. And... You're going to find out what Coyote did with them. You find it hard to know about one without the other. After Coyote's third video on Sappho made on September 30th of 2022, don't forget the like. Don't forget the like the stream. To to Sappho's Discord server. In it was Coyote Lovely, Alexander, also known as Galio Cerdo. Galio Cerdo. Fuck it. I don't, I don't fucking care. He's a wanker anyway. <laughs> Hateful Tate, Aquinas, and Pizza. This chat seemed to have made decent progress in finding information and collecting things to send to the authorities until the 4th of November when Sappho deleted the server. It is something to note that although this was an op that Coyote was a part of, he himself states on the day of creating the room, October 1st, that he's going to mute the group chat and just never talks in it again. Cool beans. During the time Sokolo was being outed, Fair enough, the YouTuber Barry. Cass Warfox made a stream on the 23rd of November. In the stream, Cass had people like Coyote Lovely, Pizza, and, well, Sokolo on a call to get information from him and to essentially drag him publicly. In it, the aforementioned predator that Coyote <laughs> Lovely had called out... <laughs> My internet and power came back on after 24 hours, and this is the first glimpse of the world I see. <laughs> I am so sorry. Hypnosis Sappho joins the stream to discuss how Sokolo did an off on her. Cass brings up Sappho's 14-year-old boyfriend, Zachary, and Sappho responds in such a weird way. Like, yeah, get, get used to the way she speaks. Um, so, <clears throat> I need to ask this because this keeps getting spammed out in the chat right now. Um, what is this about you dating a 14-year-old? Oh, right, yeah. No, uh, we do some trolling on, on Twitter. <laughs> hey, there's an allegation about you in the chat. They keep spamming it. Uh, what is this about you dating a 14-year-old? The answer of all retards and predators. We do a little trolling. Do you understand... I'm not even kidding, guys. I, I, I can't emphasize this point enough. If you ever hear the words, we're just doing a little trolling. I'm not, I'm literally telling you right now. If you hear the words, we're just doing a little trolling. And it's in regard to a major allegation. They did it. They did it. 100%. Don't trust them. Anyone says that they hide behind the trolling thing and they are doing malicious shit. They did it. I've learned my lesson personally. They did it. <laughs> what do you mean you just trolling? Okay, so I... <laughs> okay. I have yeah, no so idea. I, I, Anna Barry, I have no idea. I've made a lot of very, very rough jokes. But that's like what retard uses the defense. I've heard it like a thousand times with people that have allegations against them or are in like these weird sub communities. They always go, we just do it trolling unironically stick the knife in your neck pull it all the way to the right and not so rough jokes and you know i've i've went around and i've talked about how you know oh you know dating isn't a legal term you know like it's not illegal to date anybody <laughs> um so that's trademarked by toby c by the way the fucking knife thing i i am like i do talk to somebody that happens to be, you know, younger than I am. You're a freak! You're a fucking freak! You're a freak! Fuck you! You're a freak! You're an actual fucking freak! You're a 
freak. You're a freak. You're a freak. Um, but it's really super platonic, and I know you know. Oh, it's still platonic. Like, oh, you're still a predator. That's still predatory. Well, I, I mean, get it. It's more like I mean, it's I... mostly at this point. It's just your history. Seriously, what is it with this trend of commentary morons interviewing predators as if they're interviewing their favorite celebrity? Like, it isn't a fucking tea party. Like, get rid of. Guys, it's just platonic. It's just platonic. No, it's no big deal. It's just platonic. Of it. It's scum. You can be mean to it. Bully it. Have fun. <laughs> Considering this thing is 23 years old, that's... I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. Burn! Burn it! Really gross. Just goes to show you how deranged he really is. Take note on how, although Cass and the others held back to say things to Sappho until later... I don't want to sound like I'm being you disrespectful know. to you here. Coyote, someone well known for being outwardly spoken, never says anything to Sappho about this. The part that really gets to me is when Coyote pipes up finally, and they discuss how he and Sappho are now friendly, cordial. Coyote and I were really fucking at each other's throats, and threatening each other and saying, you know, terrible shit, which which we've made up for, by the way. But hey guys. So this coyote lovely guy, um, had an issue with somebody who was platonically, I, I hate, I cannot believe the words that are coming out of my mouth. Their defense is platonically, um, enjoy, a, a platonically dating a younger child, a younger person. And coyote and them are cool now. Imagine being cool with a predator. Imagine mending the bridge with a predator. <laughs> Are you fucking smoking crack cocaine? It must be the really good shit because you're retarded, my guy. But, um, I was egged on <laughs> by Zerkalo. Literally. Like, I, I was at my fucking breaking point. You know, suicidal, thinking about blowing my head off. Do it. And I was actually egged on into it, that. I, and Coyote I, has the logs on that because Zerkala was literally telling them that that's what they were doing to me. I also just want to clarify something real quick. I do remember what happened during the whole before the help band Coyote lovely thing. By the way, I recommend watching the stream as it's primetime entertainment and Peaches is a very reliable cast literally told Sappho to off herself. Yes, I agree. You posted a video uh, that was labeled as an apology, which I commented in my video, you know, that recently came out, that it, the words That's I'm sorry right. didn't appear. And then I left a comment on the video saying this is going to be funny. You came into my favorite video game. Mm. Let's break this. Let's break up the predator talk with something else. Um, man, favorite video game. That's a tough one. Right now, I think it's like Destiny 2. It's a fucking addiction. I can't stop. Um, best game I ever played? God of War 1. DMs after you left a comment, sent me a screenshot of your comment. You and I had a back and forth where I was just kind of laughing at how angry you were getting about all of this. And then you started antagonizing me. I antagonized you back. It escalated. And then like an hour later, you wound up creating that channel. And then I kind of antagonized you about that after I saw that channel. I thought that was really funny. But um, And I also want to clarify, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say that you and I have made up. Um, we have talked on Telegram briefly. But for the most part, I've already told you that I have forced on leash is good. Civilly about random subjects when you talk to me about it is because I just right now do not have the energy to get incredibly hostile with people that I have adversarial relationships with and i've also yeah. clarified that your relationship as it stands now i still find it predatory and i will not ever uh, move away from that kind of position i think dating a minor when you are an adult is a predatory thing and i do not agree with it now then why are you cool with this person why did you become cool with this person why did you mend the bridge with this person why do you have a relationship with this person in the context of even speaking to them outside of exposing them and sending all relative information to the police why have you mended the bridge now, I may be civil with you for the moment when you are talking to me about subjects that are just kind of neutral things. But like I said, that's just because of the circumstances and how focused I am right now on Zerkalo. That may change yeah. in the future. I, I couldn't make this shit up. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. I'm sad that I lack the talent to make this shit up. Never mind Cass being civil. This is next level. I just can't get over how Coyote is being friendly with a notorious dog diddler and child predator because he's too busy being mad at Zakalo. What, you gotta start being friends with Zakalo too once someone else shows up? Do you know how to block? Why is that not an option? 
Oh, it's so hard to make my really bare bones video onto Apollo. All this lack of evidence I'm showing is really tiring me out. I just don't have the energy to be disturbed by zoos and predators. Fuck off, dude. Like, God, what a response. How did nobody on this stream think to probe into this further when something this outrageous was said? Which, Peach just has a point. If I was in that call, and you won't catch me in a fucking call ever like that with fucking furries in no goddamn way, this is a, uh, I'm going to war. Listen, <clears throat> if I ever get in a call like that and I hear somebody go, oh, yeah, we're, we're like cool now because they're giving me information, I'd be like, you are now suspicious. You are now somebody that is a problem. You need to step away from this and you need to get investigated yourself now. That would be the first thing that comes out of my mouth. I wouldn't even think about it. It would literally run out of my mouth with no filter. I'd be like, this, I'm pretty sure if I was in the call, this is the exact thing, right? <clears throat> Why are you cool with this person? Didn't you just say that under no context, you are okay with somebody talking to a minor? Then why are you cool with them? In the stream, somebody should have immediately grabbed onto that, like grabbed onto that that thread right there and just pulled on it and said, where where the fuck is this going? That's a lie. You'd be at a few calls. Okay, fair, T. Fair. You're you're one of the good ones. Blood sports my ass. All of these people, some of whom worked on the very Kiwi farm stuff that exposed Coyote later, were present at the time and just didn't oh, wait, address I, this. I forgot to do Amazing. something. Brilliant. Proud of everyone here. I guess if someone did pay attention to this stream and ask the appropriate questions, what would be later revealed wouldn't have been such an earth-shattering revelation. For you see, my dear viewer, the op that Pizza and Hate thought was over had a more secretive second act. On the 18th of December, Coyote told a member of Cass Warfox's server, Rodeo, about the fact he's in direct communication with Sappho. You know, something that Cass and everyone else on the November stream already knew, mind you. Was it ever mentioned to anyone about uh, Coyote talking to Sappho? Because I know that it was mentioned in the Zakolo stream on the 23rd of November. I, okay, so again, it's just like, it was one thing after the other, and I know it. I understand not all furries are a part of the DGen community. I get that. People in the chat are being like, not all of us are like this. I'm gonna keep a buck. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> you need to root these people the fuck out. Because you guys have a problem. I had asked some people as a witch. I didn't doing, I didn't really ask. You guys have a worse problem than the Smash community. Because the Smash community doesn't fuck animals on top of children. I'm not saying all furries do that, but you guys have a problem. Root them the fuck out. Drag them into the streets and beat them with sticks. I don't know what to tell you. Because again, I trusted him. But you knew? I didn't. That he was talking to Sappho? No, I didn't fucking know. I didn't fucking know until he was in the fucking public senate call and told Lyle and me about it. And we both told him it was fucking retarded. What about you, Pizza? Did you know? You know, back on the 4th. Okay. Do not start writing kill them. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. K Zero said kitty a lot. Bro! Chill, Hannah. Holy shit. Holy shit. I am not saying... Every furry, guys, you need to understand that there's hyperbole versus, like, me condemning an entire fucking community. I'm saying the community has a goddamn problem. You could remember? No, like, I'm asking, what, sh uh, shut up. I'm asking Pizza, did you know that you was talking to Sappho uh, in November? Uh, I didn't know very much more than, you know, what he said on the Zarkalo stream, where he, you know... Well, forgot about optics midway through it and was like, oh, wait a minute, we're not friends. Like, you know, that kind of shit. Yeah, because well, if gonna... it was... If you don't know, mm. hate, please. Like, because I'm listening to the Zakalo stream, right? Um, mm. And he mentions in it on the 23rd that he was talking to Sappho and that he doesn't mind if she talks to him about, you know, just like other topics that aren't pertaining to her preying on a 14-year-old at the time. And he was mm. saying that he didn't really care about uh, being hostile. Mm-hmm. Was, was that the stuff that you knew? Yeah. I was just wondering, like, if it was ever asked uh, why he was talking to Sappho after that stream. Uh, I don't know. There was, there was some gossip here and there, um, I, but nobody really, you know, confronted him directly about it, not to my knowledge. That's the issue. 
when you hear rumors about something, you should talk to the individual that the rumors are about. Not continue, not let the rumors continue. You should be like, hey, I heard this fucking rumor. Is this real or not? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask. Hey, I heard this rumor. Is this real or not? The person says, fuck no. That's not true. Okay. You can go based on that word. If they stumble around everything, you should look at them and go, hey, um, you're acting suspicious right now. This whole, like, I heard a rumor. No, 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 no. Go and ask the person. Even if you have no clout, no information. Like, just ask. Who cares what they're going to say? Just ask. If it involves somebody, co co like, working with a known predator, ask. Be like, hey, what the fuck is going on here? Knowledge. Like, gossip and, like, like, what? Like, like cast a like, server, for example, oh. like we'd be in a VC and, you know, somebody bring it up. Like, it's kind of fucking weird that Coyote is still speaking to Sappho, you know? As there are no logs out from Coyote, this is the most we can do to get TLDR timeline of this new James Bond-esque arc. Okay, Sappho and I are in direct communication. Before the Zerkala stream on Kaz's channel where she came on, she had contacted me to apologize again. I decided to see if I could use that to build trust and get more Why? Why would you try to build trust with somebody who is a predator? A predator. Why are you trying to build trust with this person? You literally said, under no context, hanging out being engaged with a minor is bad then why are you trying to build their trust you're fucked in the head that's not content brain that's just being retarded information and so far it's working she's confirmed a lot of things privately while venting to me that otherwise wouldn't have a hard confirmation such as her current location and several other things i'm working with alexander to keep track of what she confirms to me privately feel free to ask alex they're active on sappho's thread another user aquinas is in on this too so KOT lets a select few people know about a different op that started before the Cast Warpark stream on the 23rd of November, being Alexander and his friend Aquan. Do I think Pokemon is hot? Hell fucking no. Hell fucking no. Hell no. That bitch is two out of ten. Uh, Echo, been growing a lot since your advice. Thank you. Of course, of course. I am very open to people asking me for advice, even though I am fucking terrible at it. Uh, everything about her disgusts me. <laughs> her entire personality is disgusting. Like, Pokimane, maybe like a hit it and quit it sort of deal. But uh, I would never, like, hit it a second time. You know what I mean? Like, she's basic. She's basic. She's incredibly basic. And there's there's nothing exciting about it. The sex is probably boring, if I'm being honest. Yes. On the 3rd of March of 2023, I had Alexander hit me up with approximately 50 screenshots between himself and Coyote throughout their operation with Zappo. 50 screenshots of them talking. Whoa, hold on. On the 23rd of November, being Alexander and his friend Aquinas. On the 3rd of March of 2023, I had Alexander hit me up with approximately 50 screen. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What was that? On the 3rd of March of 2023, I had... Alexander hit me up with approximately 50 No 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 no! Fifty screenshots between himself and Coyote throughout their operation with Zappo, wanting me to share their side. Which, <laughs> side note, this doofus Alex really just handed me a guillotine, stuck their head in it, and was surprised when I dropped the blade. So surprised that they've been molding ever since publicly in an effort to try and discredit this video. So you know it's gonna be good. This alleged op was apparently Coyote and Alex getting close and comfy with him with Sappho on a bit of a personal level, to put it lightly. Coyote okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I kind of want to read so those. This alleged okay, this is, so apparently this is Coyote's little gay op, right? Oh, by the way, just so you know, in case I ever get leaks, which is there a high possibility, currently doing an independent op on the Sappho front. I don't believe for a moment that are going to change, and they tried to reach out to me and apologize. X to doubt, obviously. I can't believe he 
actually wrote the words X the doubt. That is so fucking cringe. It makes me want to die. But I took the opportunity to see how far this can go. So I've been talking to her for a few weeks now to see if I can get any new information with some time. What I'm about to tell you needs to stay under wraps so she doesn't get spooked. So far, I have one of her Discord profiles at, that I am uh, that I am unsure of how well known it is. She has also acknowledged there is a possibility that she may be arrested for something related to her online activities. Good! I know what it is, but she hasn't admitted it yet. I'm waiting to see if... I can have my suspicions confirmed. Moreover, she confirmed a handful. Oh, was apparently Coyote and Alex getting close and comfy with hypnotist Sappho on a bit of a personal level, to put it. Handful of other things, such as that she lives in a state where she can legally own a firearm despite being hospitalized, doesn't narrow it down too much. Uh, but it rules out some places for possible locations. Plus, it confirms she's in a violation of federal law, which supersedes state law. If I can get verbal confirmation recorded, I'll be sure to file a report to the FBI via the cyber tip form. It's a slow process because it requires a lot of complex acting on my part. Acting, sure. Because if I am too open about things with her too fast, she'll know it's a work. But if I never open up about anything, she won't be willing to talk. Basically, I have to convince her that I'm be uh, beginning to trust her more. But I have to do so in a way that feels more natural, like it's being built over time. Oh, yeah lightly to put it bluntly though it was flat out just sexting the bitch it already feels off to me that came i love okay so there's one thing that i can say i like about peaches right whenever there's like a complex situation going in she'll just go immediately like yeah no i'm just gonna simplify it down to the fucking easiest answer to this he was just sexting the bitch <laughs> It's like the easiest fucking, that is like boiled down to the easiest fucking thing that you can make out of this situation, which was Coyote was sexting the bitch. <laughs> like that, that's the easiest thing. This Listen, love or hate peaches. I find it funny when she does shit like this. Like it's just the little stuff like that, where she's just like, I'm just going to, I'm not going to go into like a deep dive on it. It's just, he sexted the bitch. He went immediately to making Sappho think he had a crush on her, however, for this quote-unquote op. She's under the impression that I have a low-key crush on her that I refuse to admit. The reason why is because I put the idea there to begin with to help make her think I won't say anything. All you have to do is operate in such a way that somebody comes to the conclusion you want them to reach. But they believe the idea was theirs all along. Coyote told Alex that he got into several calls with Sappho, ones that were suspiciously not recorded, mind you, that he would be keeping up an... What pissed me off most about Coyote is when he trashed an abuse victim and told her he didn't give a crap about her. Okay, so Coyote is also a complete piece of shit. Act into being with her sexually. Coyote even suggested to Sappho that he would like to see art of Sappho and <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna make myself throw up, chat. I'm about to make I'm about to make myself throw up. Oh god. Okay. Let me breathe. Oh, let me breathe. Oh, I don't wanna read these. I don't wanna read these. I don't wanna read these. I'd I'd really I'd really like to call again sometime. When you have the time, I miss your voice. I miss you too, KY. You always manage to make me feel better. And we can call again soon. BRB, gonna have a smoke. Sends lions licking. I got it. I want to kill myself. We can call again soon. Loki would love to see art of your Sona doing that to my Sona. The <laughs> Riveter's just like, don't, don't make me watch this. Himself kissing? As early as the 14th of December, Coyote admits to Alex that his conversations with Sappho had gone from the aforementioned flirting to downright sexual. So yeah. By the way, Riveter, when you come back, we're going over the Cavos video. Alex, you, you did know. I'm really laying it on thick now. The flirting. Like, it's getting outright sexual. I hate that I have to pretend like this. So, yeah. 
Coyote, you had no reason to pretend anything of the sort. Especially not to the degree of sexting Sappho and having erotic hypnotist sessions with her. And when you're all nice and relaxed and comfortable against me, I'll have my way with you. That is apparently how this individual... <laughs> I'm not... I'm literally not <coughs> being hyperbolic here, chat. That sentence you just heard is how Sappho would hypnotize people. Um hypnotize people in VR chat. <laughs> How many predators do you think Are you hypnotized been? chat? Do you want her to t do you want her to t I can't even finish that sentence without wanting to throw up. Pretenson slept with. Hello, I'm Pretenson. I'll take your clothes off over there. News flash genius, none. You're not James Bond, and Sappho has shown that she's a proud zoo and predator. In all honesty, with how much Alex and Coyote both discussed how they'll just explain everything away with the op excuse, looks more like a premeditated alibi. I mean, damn bro, your fake game was so hard, Sappho was wanting to move all the way to California to live with you. On the same day as this message, Coyote talks about Sappho being in four calls for over an hour each, explaining how she grooms kids. This stuff she talks about publicly too, so please, explain to me why you're letting her get your dick hard to uncover such groundbreaking information like Sappho likes kids. I can just go to her channel, or her Twitter, or your videos on her to know that. The further in, the more deranged it gets, if of course you don't count getting spicy with a dog diddler is deranged enough. Starting with Sappho telling Coyote on the 15th of December how a member of her church is a zoo too, and yet Coyote tells Alex that he's dropped the lead to keep Sappho's trust. Instead of, you know, pressing further for more details, this suspicion is never looked into or brought up again. Considering all Coyote's do- Imagine you go to church. <clears throat> Imagine you go to church, right? And you walk in. And you find one of your uh, your members of your congregation <laughs> likes to fuck animals. Imagine, <laughs> imagine your church member is fucking your, their dog. Think about that next time you go to church. <laughs> Doing is sexting Zaffo. I don't understand the rationale behind letting a potential zoo get away. Wouldn't you think this is the exact type of information this sort of espionage would aim for? Well, I've never sought out the better predator, so I guess I'm not qualified to say. If this wasn't enough, there's even more concrete examples that could definitely lead to others, like myself, to believe this was more than just some op. Because, hey, do you remember when Coyote said he would like fan art of Sappho and himself kissing? Pepperidge Farm remembers, and so did Coyote. On the 15th of December, Alex and Coyote got together to commission NSFWR of Coyote and Sappho Sonas for... Well, no... <laughs> Imagine being so deep in the gay op. Imagine being so deep in the gay op that you have to get not safe for work artwork of you eating the other one's asshole. <laughs> no reason, as far as I can tell. We'll just add it to the coyote did it for the wank bank file. Depending on how long this op goes, I might have to get more art. God save me. It is amazing how Coyote says multiple times that he hates doing this, and yet he continues anyway, making it more and more explicit as time goes on. There was absolutely no need to make smut art at all. None. Now, for this section, if you are close to Coyote or Alex, or have a weak stomach in general, brace yourself. This is probably the most vile, revealing part of the alleged op that makes me believe this whole thing was a simple facade to cover up Coyote's desire to sleep with crazy. So. Alex poses as a person called Yuki Lavaria and message Sappho pretending to be the artist behind Coyote and Sappho Smut. The logs show on the 20th of December that Sappho requested art from Alex of her sona holding hands and kissing the sona of her 14-year-old victim. Here. Hey, remember when uh, when we saw this photo before? <clears throat> Apparently that's of uh, the sona of the 14-year-old that Sappho uh, is in love with. I need to get refs, but it's of me and my little boyfriend. So it's of you and your boyfriend's fursonas? What would you like in it? Like, you two doing... Or, um, kissing and cuddling. Or holding each other's hands. Or him pressing me against a wall. Any sane person would decline, even if they had to keep up a persona and had to make... High school context? Really? High school context? This woman is 23. The child is 14. There is no high school context. Up an excuse not to do it. But no, that's not what happened. Instead, Coyote and Alex both saw this as a good idea to not only accept this request, but to also make it more smutty than Sappho even requested. 
Not only that, but Alex, at the mildest push by Sappho, then said you can post the art around despite initially saying she can't. And when I say mild push, I mean mild, non-existent even. The kind of push I would need to buy a Sonic game. No, the other girl is 33. Sappho's in her early 20s. Game. Well, the kind of push Coyote would need to sex the predator. Hey, I'm sorry about earlier. My lover's been trying to push me to stop being so private with my art, and he saw what I had typed to you, since my PC screen isn't exactly hard for them to spot on the sofa, LMAO. And after a long chat, I've decided I'll allow you to share what I make you, as long as your boyfriend is also fine with it. Aw, sweetheart. I don't want you to feel like you have to let me do that. Or anything. You're totally fine, and I completely understand. Yeah, my soul is right. I need to stop doing this to myself. But hey, don't worry. They didn't go fully back on their initial request to not share art, because Coyote, the hero of this story, went to great lengths to ensure his reputation was clean by not letting Sappho post the art of them. Okay, artists have said they don't mind me sharing the artwork, or rather, Sappho, with their friend circle. They kind of realized it would make Sappho way more comfortable with us- These streams are like a YouTube bastion, I miss bullying idiots. Yeah, me too, that's why I do it. That way, if it ends up on social media due to that, we'll shrug. It's all part of the op, but I'm gonna slow burn on Val when it gets to that. I am not okay with Sappho sharing the art of me and her with anybody. I told her to keep that to her. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. It's cool. It's, you know, it's just... We're gonna post inappropriate artwork and just, you know, it's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. We can just shrug. We can just be like, I, I don't know. I don't know about it. I don't know about none of that. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Sure, dude. The small art of a grown woman and a literal child she's grooming is okay to provide and allowed to be shared, immortalizing their abuse forever in a sickly perverted light. But the art you personally commissioned- Wait, Coyote Lovely made a community post? Wait a minute. Oh, like, hold on. He made a community post several days ago. This is three weeks ago. <clears throat> it wasn't seven days, it's three weeks. Unless they deleted it. So you're aware of what happened. I'll just get to the point and not waste your time or mine. What was what are, what I did was wrong. Don't dispute this. I will not attempt to defend or justify it anymore just because the defended or justified. I removed my Twitter account, as you might be aware, clear the Telegram channel, or remove myself all at a handful of Discord servers. I'm going to be leaving the internet, mostly social media, leaving the internet entirely in this day and age is nearly impossible for a long time to get back in touch with reality, work a regular job, talk to a therapist again since I was doing better when I saw one in the past, be a normal human being again for a good long time. How about you never come back, <clears throat> you degenerate fuck? If I feel comfortable coming back, I won't be making content like I used to. I think this point is very obvious. The people who should handle these situations are not YouTubers. It's certainly not me, for God's sakes. Uh, you, in particular. Uh, these people who should handle these situations of predation are for the police. If I make content again, I'll make something entirely different that could not possibly harm anyone, whether directly or indirectly, such as gaming videos, media analysis, review. So he's going to come back. This is somebody that isn't just, like, leaving the internet because they just leave, right? So Coyote Lovely will be coming back. I will put I will put money on Coyote Lovely coming back. For yourself and Sappho, two consenting adults? Nah, better keep it between you two, right? Keep it special. It really does fit with the nonchalant attitude you portrayed throughout this whole mess of a situation. Well, now I've just revealed all of this to the public. Still gonna shrug it off? Or is it too far now? This is where it became clear that Coyote was nothing more than a self-indulgent twat that only cared about himself. He went not only to the point of throwing a victim under the bus to satisfy his own morbid curiosity, but knowingly commissioned and supplied a groomer with smut art of them and their underage victim. No self-respecting person, never mind Predator Hunter, would ever hold such depraved morals. Just in case any of you are still scrambling to defend Coyote and Alex, because Vermin knew this child was 14, YouTube Allowancer had posted the proof as such, and even the logs proved Coyote and Alex knew their age. Not to mention, remember that live stream on the 23rd of November? How Sappho was questioned right with Coyote present about that victim? Yeah, there's no deniability here. Go to hell. Coyote, if you have any intentions of being upfront with the victims of Sappho and your audience, why not tell everyone why you really did this? Oh, wait. I can for you. I'm performing a... Oh, I'm just... All right. I, I want to read this. I want to read it. I swear if they pull a mini lad, uh, they pull a mini lad just for help us. Yeah, if they pull a mini lad, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, I'm performing a social experiment. I have a hypothesis. I want to see if it's true or false. Explain. What I want to see is if some form of proof to try and get an answer to the question. Is it possible for long-term recovery for people who are groomed into the belief that they are zoophile or pedophile? So far, I'm talking to three people who are on some level. One of the above have identified as such. One is Sappho. One is Liquid Sappho. Fake Sappho has expressed they want to put it behind them. And one is Kerfuffle. None of these people know I'm gauging what they say to me or how they act to see if I can answer this question. Kerfuffle is the controlled group. They have expressed no desire to change. I'm weighing the actions of the other two parties against the actions of him as a proud paraphile. Oh my God. I fucking hate this. I want to observe the steps. These two take forward in their own betterment to see if the person really want to get better and then leaving this community behind. Hey, asshole. Maybe not try to help these people find redemption. Um, these people are sick, disgusting freaks, freaks. They don't need your help. You know what they need? Electroshock therapy. Bzzzt. A little bit of electroshock could help that. Social experiment. I have a hypothesis, and I want to see if it's true or false. What I want to see is some sort of proof to try to get the answer to the question, is it possible for long-term recovery for people who are groomed into to believe they are a zoophile or pedophile? So far, I am talking to three people who are on some level, one of the above, or have identified as such. One is Sappho. One is Liquid Sappho, and one is Kerfuffle. Question. Kerfuffle is the control group. M, as a good a person in forums, can be the onus Oh my god, this is so long. Kind of scientist? So, not only do you laugh as a moral predator hunter publicly, in private you laugh as some kind of scientist? For what purpose? To cuddle with people like Hypnotist Sappho, provide her smut out of her victims, enable her sick behavior so she can do erotic hypnotist sessions and be a little lab rat for you? Ooh, kinky. Just more hiding from the real reasons you do all this. You are so incapable of being honest with yourself, aren't you? At least with this excuse, he expresses the fact that he just wants to watch her. <laughs> Fucking weird. In addition to his lot, Coyote appears to already be shaking blame off of Sappho for the fact she's a proud paraphile, by emphasizing how she was groomed into it. It's like through this monologue, he pretends to himself, at the cost of her victims, that her only crime is THINKING about doing these things, instead of rightfully calling her out for her predatory behavior. She's not a paraphile anymore, she's a predator. And that's the interesting thing, isn't it? Coyote was always one of the first people to call her out for what she's done, yet here he is trying to downplay and excuse her actions in private. I don't think he ever cared about doing what's right. I think he just cared about the e-celebrity status of calling these people out publicly. Well, how's the fame now, mate? On the same day I received the logs from Alex, March 3rd, I requested to have a call with Alex to ask about what had gone on. I was initially going to keep this call out of this video as it more just, you know, is Alex crying instead of saying anything damning about Coyote all the timeline. But Alex started molding online about me, so, you know, I just thought it was a funny addition. Enjoy some highlights from at least one of these predator enabling assholes. You gave Zavaya all your logs, yes? No. Or not Zavaya, I'm sorry. Rosa here. You gave Peaches all your logs. Uh, pretty much what was important, yeah. Okay. Are you aware there's some, there's some incongruities between what you told us as well as the farms versus what's in those logs? Uh, what do you mean? Well, first off, I, you said to me that you didn't know how far the op was going, about how close Coyote was getting to Zaffo. Yes, and... I remember, and I, I looked again, because I even pointed that out, right? I even pointed that out there and then, and I said, oh wait, no, he says, remember love him. folks, zoophiles plus wood chipper equals fun. It, and I must have fucking just dits over. Oh fuck, yeah, sorry. That's, that's... I'm thinking that he's flat out flirting, and I was like, well, fuck me. So I have yep. to ask, in what world is having ship art, fetish ship art, and having like those type of conversations, in what world is that flirting? A little crush? I mean, I guess to me, maybe because I'm in the furry fandom, I'm not really used to it. I, it flirting and I guess a little crush are very. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to accept that. What about getting art for Sappho? You shouldn't... <clears throat> let me let me correct this record here. Anybody that flirts with random people on the internet without checking the age, and then, let's say, hypothetically, confirms the age, um, and you continue to talk to that person, you are a freak. You're a freak. You need to be locked up in a fucking cage, and you need to be kicked into the Marianas Trench. I don't get this whole, like, flirting thing where it's like, ah, it's okay, I just flirt online. 
hey, confirm ages. And if you hear the person is younger than you, do not continue the conversation. Throw yourself into an acid tank. I have no fucking idea what you have to do. But there's no excuse for that. Um... What, you mean, uh... Yeah, when it... Um... So what, when, when she was commissioning and they were commissioning? Yeah. Um... Yeah, but they only commissioned two pieces. You do? Okay. So they go, hey, what about the artwork that you made of a 14-year-old's fursona being sexual with Sappho's a grown woman fursona? Let's, let's use the terminology here, right? <laughs> they ask, what about that? And they're just like, they only commissioned two pieces. Hey, uh, you, 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 you. The individual who drew that artwork, I don't know who, I, I already forgot your name. Uh, whoever you are, you're a sick, disgusting freak. And if it's this person in this call, you are liable, you are, I'm lumping you in with Sappho. You absolute degenerate freak. Do you know how old Sappho is? Uh, 21, 22. Do you know how old this person is? Reportedly 14, but 14, as I said, not you reportedly, only... they are 14. And I, the fact look, that Coyote I'm... also knew, and the fact right. that you could both discuss it, Coyote also knew they were 14. Rosie, you're putting a lot of assertions onto me about a third party artist. Alex! No, it's not Leo. a third party artist. Yes, it is. The problem you is are... you communicated this and you passed it along as though it's acceptable, and that's the problem, Alex. That's a problem. How do you not see that as a problem? This is sexualized ship art of a 14 year old and a 21 year old. You can cover it by saying it's furry all day long. The point is, your brain should have kicked in and you should have realized this has gone off the rails. There's no excuse you for are this. Both imp right, both of you are implying that I turn around to the artist. And I did more than just show that screenshot. No, I'm not implying that at all. I said, you sent them that, essentially you sent them that screenshot, they sent you the art back, right? Yes. What did you do with the art, Alex? I gave it Sappho. Do you not see where you play a part in that? <sighs> no, you were right, but I just don't like the implication. I get, look, you're accusing the artist of, you know, we, we all know what the assertion is. That he no, draws. I want you to say it. I want you to say it in plain English. What is the... the ar I, I will say it. Watch me. It's really easy. The artist drew furry child pornography. Really fucking easy. Really, 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 really easy to say that uh, because they are disgusting. The artist should have declined that commission. They shouldn't have been in communication with Sappho on that commission. They are a degenerate like Sappho. There you go. It's that easy. The assertion. The assertion is that page. he draws, you know, underage sexualized art. My assertion, Alex, is mm -hmm. that this was a dumb thing to do to begin with, and you facilitating this by passing it, thereby approving of what was drawn, is a problem. So, did you think, at any point, how this kid's gonna feel when they grow up? At any point? <laughs> not until it was... Uh, well, not until afterwards. Not now, hold on. Wait. How do you not think? How do you not think that? Because seriously, Alex, you have been around the block. You know how these things operate. And more importantly, you knew. You knew this kid's age. You literally told us the age in the call. You knew it. You knew it and you did this. You facilitated this. And the thing that irritates me the most about this specific thing, this one, this mm -hmm. one, because now this confirms Sappho was dating this minor during this stupid op. Neither of you cared enough to try to find info on a minor to try to get them help. I want to make it clear I'm not going for Leo W. True. Ugh, and making noises at you it is, uh... <sighs> Obviously, I don't want to get fucking emotional, because it's fucking queer. Uh... Oh, don't you sit here and tell me getting emotional is queer, because I'm emotional. The reason no, why I'm emotional I mean, a kid got screwed I mean, over because of you. I don't want to sit here and be fucking crying in front of you two over this. Because obviously, you know, you're just going to fucking sit there and just say I'm putting on crocodile tears. I don't care if you're putting on crocodile tears or not, because here's a long and short of it as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if Rosie has any questions for you after this, but I cannot abide this.
No, Alex, you have done some good for us. You helped us out in some rough times, but... Cry, bitch! Cry! Cry your eyes out, bitch! Cry! Cry all day. Cry all night. Cry yourself to sleep. Cry yourself into a jail cell. Nothing you have done justifies staying around you after this. Nothing. So here's what's going to happen on my end. I'm going to have 24 hours for Aquinas to make his decision. And if he keeps you around, I'm leaving your server altogether, and I will never speak to you again. Okay. Look. Uh, no, I understand, and I understand that Rosie's going to do the same. And... <sighs> Can't I just did this. All I want to say is, Ooh. genuinely, <laughs> and I don't care if you don't believe this, <sighs> Genuinely, I am sorry that I've done this to you, but I'm sorry that I brought this to your door. Yeah, it was a very embarrassing call for the dude. If Coyote stopped his up when he was initially told to, though, maybe he could have avoided the embarrassment that was waiting around the corner for him. On the 4th of January, Pizza, who was a part of watching and logging information from Sappho in the group chat mentioned previously, reached out to Coyote because of the weird behaviour from Alex, warning Coyote that he may not want to do any... Seeing this as... Uh, thank you... <laughs> Poor QTV. What the fuck did I walk into, Chris? <laughs> Pure degeneration. And we're laughing at it. This is what the channel is now, baby. Laughing at degeneration. Laughing at degens. Come on, QTV. You should know that by now. You're an avid viewer. He opts with Alex as the I do want to read this. Let's see here. I do want to read this. Seeing this as a person was all about involving you in the ops at one point, I figured it would be wise to share these DMs with you. Uh, why? They reached out to me on Kiwi Farms. Like, they pretty much asked me for help. I got into VC, and they were on point, not saying a fucking word. Act really nervous and panicked about it, so I said I'd help if they are serious about charging, changing, and being a better person escaping the map zoo community bro you should never trust people like that ever in your entire life you should never trust a single person that's ever gonna say i'm gonna stop being a degenerate because they never fucking will they will always remain degenerates for the rest of their fucking lives uh at all the way through and through but if they fuck me over it's no skin off my uh my rose <sighs> They'll be burned everything bridge since I know they've reached out to Lago Mart and Brandon MD. I'm not sure who that is. <clears throat> it's a waste of time. It looks bad on your part. This was brought up in stream. I don't really care. Uh, pizza. If people want to see me trying to help someone out. Uh, of that kind of community head, that's fine. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah, you're entirely wrong, you fucking deranged cunt. Uh, they were in Senate at one point with elevated privileges but left. They also mod for Jason Fex's server. I mentioned my hesitation to trust them with the op against Sappho and Zoophiles. What's happening? You have a few minutes to call. Yep, okay. Okay, compromised. Pizza shared the DMs he got from Alex earlier the same day. You do know I'm actually talking to Sappho now. Why? Well, they reached out to me on Kiwi Farms. Like, they pretty much asked me for help. I got into VC and they were at a point of not saying a fucking word and acting really nervous and panicked about shit. Yeah, Jesus, I wonder why. Wonder, I wonder why Valerie was nervous about talking to people. Couldn't, couldn't, think of, couldn't think of a single reason, you know? Who knows? Escaping the map, zoo community. But if they fuck me over, it's no skin off my nose. They'll have burned every bridge since I know they've reached out to Lagobert and Brandon MB. It's a waste of time and looks bad on your part. This was brought up in the stream. I don't really care, Pizza. If people want to see me trying to help someone out of that kind of community is bad, then it's fine. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I also have the belief that anyone who's a map, zoo, who hasn't technically committed the offenses IRL, deserves help. I like Didn't Sappho say that they fucked their dog and came out publicly about that, which means that they have done something physical. They've done something illegal. It's called bestiality. That is illegal. So then why are you trying to help them, my guy? Come on, man. 
Links had also been on the Hypnotist Sappho thread on Kiwi Farms under his other username, Galio Sedo, with posts also mentioning Kerry had been talking to Sappho and wanting her to get help. Pizza and Coyote would get into a call about this. Let you know everything that's going on. So before Cass's stream, Sappho tried to reach out to me to apologize, blah, 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 blah. I was not really receptive to that, but I did uh, talk to her specifically uh, just to see, you know, if there was any way that I could actually gain information. Um, this There has been an op on going against Sappho, which I have been doing privately. Uh, Alex is aware of it. Um, that said, uh, it's involved a lot of, a lot of, unfortunately, I don't like it, but it had to do with a lot of flirting in order to gain Sappho's trust. Um, the reason why I did that is to figure out information, which fortunately I got some of it that was usable. For example, when Sappho's address did go out, I was able to find out privately that, um, even though she was denying it publicly on Kiwi Farms, that, you know, the accuracy and legitimacy of it, privately she was expressing very different things. She was stating that she needed to move now because that address was accurate, and once I found that out, I actually wound up being able to give that to somebody who's filing a police report against Sappho for all sorts of shit. Um, so the op has actually yielded some results that were positive um but i'm letting you know now that right now i'm in communication with sappho alex is aware of that as well um so is rodeo and the reason why is like i said get information so that something can be done about sappho so uh, letting you know that but you're in the know about all of that shit in case something comes out with me talking to sappho that's why uh, as far as alex's position goes i disagree with it but um i i'm not alex's keeper i can't make them I can't make them not believe Sappho. I can't make them do because snark and truth coyote did it to to get into Sappho's pants. Leo got him to admit it. <laughs> Yo, Leo is based, dude. Tell Leo he's based for me next time he goes live. Tell tell Leo tell Leo that he's based for me. Uh tell Leo he's based for me if uh if you ever see him live. Just put it in the chat be like Chris and Ark thinks you're based as fuck. Do anything really. Right. Um, yeah, that just concerned me because I can remember him and pulling me. I don't know anything about and Leo. Into a group, and he was Alex was really enthusiastic about it and knives out basically like Sappho and the zoo files be damned. And then now reading what he's saying, it's kind of like a one eighty. And if you remember, I was hesitant to trust him initially, and I'd, I'd left the group due to that. Uh, you don't. Anybody didn't really have to do all that much gay ops to find out that Valerie has no intention of you know quote unquote becoming better or whatever. And it's I have a very strong hunch that Alex is being manipulated by Valerie. Which is something I agree with uh, Pizza here is that I believe that Sappho was using their position of saying, well, I'm going to change, I'm going to change. And Alex, being the dense dumbass that apparently he is, uh, decided that it was worth his time to try and reform this person, which is deranged. Uh, the gay op went too far. You, you really, really, really fucked up here, Coyote. You and this fucking Kiwi farmer, Alex. Hey, Alex. Uh, if I end up on your Kiwi Farms thread, which I'm 90% sure you're going to get one, um, just know I think you're a freak, and you need to be locked up, and you're a retard. <laughs> um, I, I firmly believe that as well, and that's I, – I would tell Alex that, but the problem is that I don't – the problem is when you're dealing with somebody in manipulation – one of the sad things that I've realized is you have to let them figure it out for yourself. Like, even, and that's even as somebody who's been manipulated with people like fucking Zarkalo. Found out later that the idea to rehabilitate pedophiles is Coyote's idea, and that's why Alex is saying those things. Coyote lied in the call. Um, I'm going to be upfront with you. You can't rehabilitate these people. I don't believe in the rehabilitation of these deranged motherfuckers. I don't. And the people that are trying to say that you can rehabilitate them are just deluding themselves into some sort of fantasy fucking world of complete bullshit. Um, anyone who thinks that is an idiot, like an actual Whoa. idiot. Chris, this is a legit story. Back when I surfed on 4chan Chira 2010, I came across gifts of someone I knew getting banged by a dog. That's how I found out she and her BF were furries. What? What? That has to be fake. That has to... I didn't just hear that in my ears. I had just gotten out of the Air Force. This sounds way too real. <laughs> you have way too... I'm a firm believer that fire is too good for some of these people. I agree. QTV, what the fuck? You were you were just scrolling through 4chan and you saw someone you used to know getting fucked by a dog?
what? I don't I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't want to hear the story. Thank you for the 10. Like you can tell them all the truth you want to. Oh, Sooner no. or later though, they're going to figure out that you were right and the best thing you can do is just let them figure it out. Don't try to push them into seeing your point of view because that's just going to push them further into the other person's fucking manipulation web and just hope that things when the other shoe drops, things aren't as bad as they could be. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't aware that you and Alex and, you know, like an op is ongoing, but I'm assuming that you're you know, smart enough to, you know, realize that, hey, there could be some manipulation. I shouldn't, you know, trust Alex with some really fucking sensitive information. That's like, correct. I have not given Alex... Chat, I'm gonna give you the option on this one. Do you want to hear QTV's story that he just donated to us here? Or do you want to continue with this? Because we're almost done with this. Do you want to take a break <laughs> and hear a ridiculous fucking story? Put ones in the chat if you want to, like, just take a break for a minute. Just a total break. You want to listen to the story? All right, QTV, get in the Discord. We're going to get in the Discord, join waiting, and then we'll finish the video. But you got to make it quick. You got to make it quick, bro. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, so I went into when I got got the military in 2010. I'm living with my ex, my now ex fiance, and I'm just surfing 4chan like late at night, and I come across. I'm in, I'm in B. I think I'm pretty sure I'm in B actually, and I come across a GIF and I look at it and I'm like I think I see like the person's outline. I'm like, is that? Do I know her? And so I, it wasn't what you thought it was because it was just a still image of the of the GIF. So I click on it, I'm like, oh, that's so-and-so. And then it goes further, and I'm like, oh, oh, no. And then there's more of them. Like, there's multiple of them. And because I'm in my late 20s at that point and I have morbid curiosity, I can't help myself. I just keep clicking through it. I'm just getting more and more horrified. And so eventually I go out. I go out on the porch of my ex fiance's mom's house and I'm just smoking. And my ex comes out and she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, I have seen things that I never wish I had ever seen. And she's like, I just saw a friend of mine getting boned by a black lab. And yeah, that was the weirdest shit. <laughs> like I knew this person from high school. Like my one of my first girlfriends, this is like her best friend. So I told her what happened and she was just like, That's her? I'm like, I will send you the gif. And she says, No, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm like, Are you sure? Because I will send this to you. Turns out, like a couple months later. I moved back home to Wisconsin and they're there at my friend's house and I, I, her and her boyfriend, both of them. And by the way, they both got fucked by the dog. It wasn't just her. It was both of them. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. No, not, not even fooling, bro. So, I walk in there, and they're there, and all I can do is just stare at them. And my friend, she's like, so I told them what you saw. I'm like, oh, you did? Your and girlfriend like, snitched on you? <laughs> she did. She fucking snitched. So they're, they were all there, oh, and I'm no. looking at them, and I'm like, you got to give me an explanation on this. You have to. And she was like, well, it was just this one time. I'm like, no, no, I don't no. Like she tried saying something was like the, like the only time she ever did it and she never wanted to do it again. And I'm like, but you had to find out, didn't you? You had to do it at least once, didn't you? You had to figure it out just to know you didn't want to fucking do it. You know? <laughs> I'm, I, I don't even know what to say to your story, bro. I'm going to be honest. It might be the most disturbing thing I've heard all week. Man, I, I, I will, I, 
don't know. I got weirder stories than that, but that's one of the weirder ones. But yeah, the, the, there's there's your uh your your bleach for the night. I oh, guess. God, I want to kill myself now. Thank you, QTV. <laughs> Appreciate no it. No problem, man. See ya, bro. See ya. I. I. I actually want to kill myself. <laughs> I didn't. I thought that wasn't real. I thought it was so. What the fuck? Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> Bro, zoos need to be locked in a fucking cage. They need to be locked in a cage, bro. Zoos need to be locked the fuck up. I'm not welcome. Fuck you. <laughs> Why did you tell me that story? I have a lot of logs. I have not given Alex all of them simply because I haven't known Alex that long. I consider Alex a friend and I do trust Alex, but that said, I don't know how far I trust a lot of people with ops these days, especially because, you know, Sir Kahlo was somebody that I used to work on a lot of ops with and we saw how that turned out. So, right. so when it comes to ops, I try to keep things, I try to play my hand very close to my chest, even when it comes to people that I know, unless I know for a fact beyond a reasonable doubt that I can trust them with everything. Um, and while I have trusted Alex with a lot of things, there are plenty of things about this op that I have not told them, and they <laughs> do understand that even, even with the things that I have told them, uh, we have clarified the things that we are not permitted to say outside of the op, so if any of those things go public, I'll know for a fact that they had to have come from him. This is so much crap! <laughs> I'm not even Your wife was not in the room, bro! <laughs> You're fucking trolling! There's no way! There's no way, my dude. No. <laughs> Listen, tell your wife, like, like seriously, tell your wife. I am so fucking sorry <laughs> that you had that you told me that story. Tell your wife I'm sorry. Tell your wife directly I'm sorry. I didn't, I did not bust. I wanted to kill myself. Your op partner has become sympathetic towards the dog diddler and somehow excuse it. KOT also speaks about wanting to do an MK Ultra experiment and watching Sappho to see if she can change on the 24th of December and 11th of January. An, an MK Ultra experiment? Excuse me. Oh, okay. I thought she was I thought she was trying to say through these screenshots that Coyote was like, I've been reading a lot of MK Ultra experiments and I find myself wondering if you could achieve positive results in rewriting the. <laughs> If I was afraid to lose interest in things like <laughs> Yeah, just give Sappho fuck tons of LSD. <laughs> and they won't want to fuck dogs anymore. <laughs> how stupid is this guy? Like, honestly, how stupid is this guy? I'm not even joking. Because I do commentary content. I will engage in collecting information on a subject, right? I will engage in that. I'm, that's not a fucking secret, right? Like, if there is a story out there, you want to make sure you have all the facts and evidence necessary. Where I think me and Coyote will entirely differ is that once I collect the information on the subject, I am not going to reach out to the subject and continue to try and dig up more shit that is unnecessary or try to fix them through... <laughs> MK Ultra bullshit. <laughs> then inject the sub. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. I something caught my eye. Something caught my eye. Long-term sensory deprivation of the eyes and ears via black bag and nose canceling earphones while placing the black, blacked out room with noise proof padding on the walls. Then inject the subject with DMT. <laughs> LSD's DMT is more potent as longer duration. He's actually wrong. Uh, right there, Coyote doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, DMT actually has a shorter time of a duration for drugs because I have done both. Um, LSD took hours for me to come down on, where DMT only took about 20, 30 minutes. Um, that was like at the maximum. I've done both of these drugs. So Coyote's a complete fucking idiot. Um, let's see here. And use these wireless nature of the earphones to induce hypnotic suggestions into the subject to completely write, rewrite their entire concept of what is reality <laughs> is and or was prior to being placed in isolation. 
do this over the course of a few years, I wonder if you would theoretically just invent a new human being. <laughs> Yes, Internet. I have. I I did DMT back in college. I wanted to do an MK Ultra experiment and watching Sappho to see if she can change on the twenty fourth. Joe Rogan taught me a lot. January, respectively, too. So, hey, just the apathetic way he responds is so surreal. I'm not his keeper. Yeah, but you keep on hanging around him and keeping him on ops. Coyote says to Pizza that he has given Alex a lot of logs, but not all of them because why? You haven't known him for that long? Then why did you let Alex be your op partner? If oh, Cabo's dropped the video. We'll do it after this. And keep him around if he's compromised. Makes me raise an eyebrow, though. Considering everything Coyote did send Alex and spoke about was very sexual in nature and very damning, what was so bad that Coyote couldn't trust Alex with it? This call was asinine, and this kind of apathetic behavior haunted Coyote as he continued his op like nothing even happened. Because of course. Alex was posting about talking to Sappho and sympathizing with her, and Coyote didn't think about how this made him look in the slightest. On the 7th of January, Coyote tells Lyo Convoy the same information he told Pizza, that he's doing an op on Sappho that includes some light flirting. As Lyo was at work, he didn't record the call, but there are clips from a lot later in the timeline from Coyote that confirms this is all he said. I thought I had an opportunity to get literally anything to try to help the victim that I was speaking to. I recklessly jumped on it. People told me it was a bad idea after the fact, like Lyo told me in January 7th it was a bad idea, and I ignored him. Uh, it was one of those situations that I was angry, not just because they had hurt other people, but because of how much they fucking wronged me, and I just wanted them to fucking pay for it. From Leo Convoy's testimony, he claims he told Coyote to knock it off and to stop doing a stupid op, which Coyote said he would be stopping. Since Leo is busy with his own stuff, you wouldn't think Leo would have to treat Coyote, a man in his mid-thirties who knows better, like a small child. Coyote's in his mid-thirties? This dude is running gay ops on Discord? Sappho, wrong coyote. What the fuck does that even mean? What? Hold his hand. Hold on. Agree, not just because they had hurt other people, but because of how much they fucking wronged me, and I just. How did they wrong you? Were you were you one of the were, were you the fourteen year old boy? Were you the German Shepherd she had they had sex with? How did they how did they wrong you? How how did they wrong you? It's a good question. It's a good question. I saw I saw pizza being like Sappho wrong coyote. What the fuck does that even mean? I have no fucking idea. Hmm. Just wanted them to fucking pay for it. From Leo Convoy's testimony, he claims he told Coyote to knock it off and to stop doing a stupid op, which Coyote said he would be stopping. Since Leo is busy with his own stuff, you wouldn't think Leo would have to treat Coyote, a man in his mid-thirties who knows better, like a small child and hold his hand. Since Alex and Coyote still continued the op, clearly he had to. According to the messages Coyote sent to Rodeo on the 22nd of January, Pizza leaked publicly about an arrest warrant out for Sappho. After Pizza asked Coyote on the 6th of January if Alex knew about the warrant, and due to Coyote's gross negligence with having a sympathizer on his op team, Pizza found it suspicious when Sappho was then on the run, making him expose the op for what he thought was whistleblowing. So Coyote went on the defensive as things got public, and he said he will be redacting the log. No, for all I know, it's nothing going to come out publicly on Kiwi Farms. And not only will this give Sappho the ability to DFE, but it's going to change the narrative to, oh, look, CL was actually covering for her. Coyote Lovely was actually covering for her the whole time, which is on which does even more damage because it undercuts a lot of the evidence I've spent my time gathering since she came out to get people away from her. It's just infuriating. Uh, bro, you, you tried to, like, fix a predator. And thought that maybe an MLK, uh, MK Ultra style drug induced hypnotherapy would fix this person. You are an idiot. I'm probably going to end up redacting my chats with Sappho soon. He gathered I'm zero sure. evidence. <laughs> he gathered zero evidence. That's amazing. <laughs> And Cass got mad at Leo and told him he was not going to deal with Coyote at all because the time Leo was dealing with health issues and Cass was hell no with dealing with Coyote. All right, fair. Quiet, and I need to work to minimize potential backlash. God forbid I get fucked over for trying to work with a victim to put a fucking predator in jail. No good deed goes unpunished these days, after all. 
Coyote would keep arguing that Pizza was the one to blame for ruining the op, but considering Alex was also posting publicly that he talked to Sacco for information? <laughs> no, not really. There is one reason, and one reason only, why this op had failed over and over, using the term failed here to entertain the idea this was even an op that wasn't a tire fire from the start, mind you. And that is because Sappho is a deranged, proud pedo who wants to mess with you. How is it that this man in his 30s is being played by a girl in her early 20s? Regardless, going back and forth point by point is going to make this video really long, so I'm going to try and pick up the speed. On the 19th of February, a person called Cedric made a Kiwi Farms thread on Coyote, calling him out for being around Tocolo and sexing Sappho. It all goes to Twitter come the 20th of February. Cass Warfox gives Coyote a week to prepare for his stream. I do have a few, but I also kind of want to make it clear that if we do have any questions, if, like, I just want to know in advance if you would be actually willing to have more of a public conversation about this. I feel like that might be pertinent to give you a little bit of a chance to defend yourself, given that, um, honestly, um, a private conversation like this isn't going to do you any good long term. I'm aware, and I, we've already had this conversation, I'm willing to do that. Um, I would prefer not to do it now, I'm fucking exhausted. This is not the power of pussy, this is the power of you being retarded. This is not, puss, pussy has no, I don't think pussy could be that strong. I, I genuinely do not believe pussy could be that strong to make you this retarded. I'm still doing the jet lag, still dealing with a lot of shit, I'd like to at least get a little time to prep in advance. I think that, is, is that asking too much? Like, as long as it's just, like, not right now? No, that's perfectly fine. I'm obviously not gonna, I'm not gonna remove that option for you. Um, I was thinking maybe sometime, I don't know, this uh, Friday or Saturday. Cass tells Lyo about what he found the month prior, and Lyo informs Coyote that he will be on Coyote's ass by the end of the week due to medical issues. Coyote slaps his dick around for the week on Twitter. When the day comes, he chickens out and plays League of Legends instead. Cass's stream starts on the 26th of February. LOSER! He plays League of Legends. February, and I finally hear about the allegations fully on a message coyote to get his ass on the stream as Peaches at commentary and Cass's stream is 100% inaccurate by the way a ton of evidence was brought up in that stream Check it out when you have the time. Okay at this point even if the allegations of him being into Sappho were false He's dicked up anyway by lying and throwing everyone under the bus. So surprise coyote shows up on the stream yeah. You done playing league Kyle? So, to paint a picture here so it's crystal clear, the only thing known for a fact, with proof, during the stream is that Coyote was in contact with Hypnotist Sappho and did some light flirting, as he said. Alex had been hiding the logs, Coyote was swearing blind he didn't have them archived, so everything I've presented in this video wasn't known. And Coyote hung himself on his words anyway. Despite there being some incredibly toxic moments from the stream, one that I do want to highlight is a moment where Coyote shouts down and breaks a victim that he has bailed called Fursky. Why the fuck did you say what you fucking said to Kaz, where you didn't want to go at length about the first key report shit? Like, I really want to know, because that really burned my fucking buns on multiple- Because at the end of the day, and this might sound cold, I don't have an obligation to file a report. I'm just some asshole on the internet. I'm not a cop, I'm not a lawyer, I, I don't have an obligation. And I mean, you made several promises in DMs to Fursky. The screenshot, have the, I don't know if they've been linked on the Kiwi Farms or if they what haven't, if they you, will. Pizza, what if you give on, your word? Hold on a minute, Pizza. I did file a report. I'm not going to say that I didn't, but at the same time, the reason I don't consider it worth discussing is because at the end of the day, no matter what, I, no matter what I say, I don't have an obligation. It's not my. Well, what if what if you what if you I mean, give your word? I will say. But that you keep I, saying yeah. that you're doing this for the victim and that you care about the victims, but oh fuck the victim! If I'm I'm not obligated when it's not convenient to me. In my I will oh, yeah, say. It's not a big pedophile, so therefore I'm not obligated to file a police report or like give any comfort to the victim. It's not about the views. I swear, it's all about the victims. It's not about the money, Fursky. I'm doing this because I caught you crying in a VC, and I was like, it's okay, little girl. Like, don't worry about it. Here, have a police Are you report. Quite that I'm done? not gonna file. Are you quite done with somebody who is obviously upset that their story is being diminished through a call and this person is obviously upset that the person who calls himself a predator poacher or catcher, whatever the fuck their uh, title is, um, is talking down to this person. Not only is Coyote a freak that got horny over somebody who fucked their dog, um, they're also a piece of shit. They're also a huge, immoral piece of shit. Just judging by this one clip, I can already tell I would not like the idea of conversing with Coyote in any sort of retrospects or even trusting him with any stories moving forward. And I understand that he's going to leave. He's going to make gameplay videos. He might come back. Don't come back, bitch. Don't come back. Don't make content. Don't come back to the internet. Don't think about it. Keep it out of your brain. Because you, yes, you, 
are nothing more than a sad, sadistic freak, and you need to have electroshock therapy done to you. Are you quite done? No, I'm not quite done because this okay. whole entire situation well, has me really pissed off. Okay. Well, that's amazing. I don't care. Hold anyway, on. I do it's have the reason. Wait, wait, oh, wait, no. So you really don't care about the victims. You no, know, first key, I don't give a fuck about you. I think you're a fucking bitch. I didn't fucking follow up because the way that I saw it is there were a lot of people still helping first key, but nobody helping the other victim. So I picked the other victim. Well, shit. Guess, like, uh, you know, not all victims are created equal, guys. Yeah, so you're right. If somebody's still helping you and no one's helping the other person, I'm going to fucking help the other person. Sorry, first key. At least you had a fucking safety net to fall back on. Well, you know, like, me and you, before all this drama, you were trying to be really fucking buddy-buddy with me, like, you fucking on the precinct and shit, you helped us with the Sappho shit, like, shit, man, like, right. I thought we was friends. I, I, well, you I'm thought wrong, you Let me idiot. speak. Fuck. Regardless of how the stream is going, regardless of your feelings, you do not treat victims in this manner by any measure. You do not compare distress, trauma, and talk down to them in this fashion. Sure, Coyote, you're not the police, nor are you a guardian angel, but you told Fursky you would make a rapport, and it very well appears you didn't. And just to prove you didn't, Coyote, I have your chat logs. Fursky came to Coyote to report a predator on the site Second Life, which had harmed Fursky and could pose as a danger to other users. In these logs, the real information for both Fursky and the predator were provided to Coyote. Everything basic that is needed to make a police report. Instead of making these reports, no, 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 no. He proposed giving a tip to the FBI instead of making that report, yet doesn't explain to the victim the risk factor of this. For those unfamiliar with the tool, the FBI tip line is used to report criminal activity when you're either not sure where a jurisdiction falls, if it's relevant to an ongoing FBI case, or is a higher profile crime. However, when you have the full information of a criminal, what they've done, and contact with the victim, it's always recommended that you report it to your local police precinct, along with the victim doing the same. Hey yeah, it's usually how the chain of command works. That's how it starts initially, and then it'll move up the line to a federal case where the FBI will investigate. Going to the FBI initially doesn't do any good. You should go directly to your local PD and your local precinct. That's literally how it works. You should get the ball rolling locally before it moves up to a federal level. Like, that's just how most cases start out. Starts local, state, federal. It usually rolls into that. <clears throat> so that's a little disconcerting that it's like, oh, well, we contacted the FBI. Okay. Cool. By the way, I already proved that Coyote Lovely doesn't even send a police report, as I did. I called the state police to see if they had a report. They didn't at the time. Okay, so this guy is just a disingenuous liar. I have no reason not to believe the people that were in the call, which is Pizza and uh, Nerf in the chat. I apologize if I couldn't get your name right. I have no reason to disbelieve you guys. Um, my issue being is that this individual was going around saying they were trying to help victims and these people tried to go around and this person tried to go around and say, well, I filed the correct filings. I filed with the police reports. I filed this, filed that, but then they end up being found out that they haven't done jack shit. Um, this is the kind of person that even if they make boring gameplay content or whatever the fuck or doing whatever the hell they feel like moving forward should not be trusted. Nobody should collaborate with them. Nobody should work with them ever again. This is the kind of person that cannot be trusted under any circumstance with any sort of personal information or anything involving investigations or even baseline criticism moving forward. This is an individual. Judging by what I've seen here and by what I've seen with pizza and uh, nerf in the chat so far is just a degenerate fuck. He's a degenerate fuck. He's degenerate just like the people he covered. Not to the degree of him being a pedophile, a map, or a zoo, but engaging in a conversation with a no with a proud map and somebody who is into dog fucking and then they got horny and ran gay ops that ended up with them running defense. So... This person is the worst kind of person you could ever have in your corner. If he's smart, he'll rebrand. Dude, no. He should not come back at all. There shouldn't be a rebrand. There shouldn't be any conversation to this person wanting to come back to the internet. This person should be excommunicated from the internet. Uh, what is a gay op? A gay op is an operation where people collect information on others uh, for the express purposes of, like, people call gay ops investigate investigations are gay ops gay ops are investigations but sometimes gay ops lead down really terrible paths right so like a gay op can be like oh i want to collect information on somebody and release it publicly uh to fuck them over you know what i mean like an example of a gay op is like um what happened with quite 
uh, his uh, his abuser and his uh, his allegation where that person was running a gay op with a small YouTube channel to spread false information because that YouTube channel hated quite. That's a gay op. Beauty was completely aware of this, just like how he also knows how the FBI tip line by nature is overloaded with reports and will only investigate crimes on a federal level. They will not, as Coyote puts it, tell the police what to do. So yeah, in layman's terms, Coyote sent a tip, not a police report, despite knowing all the information to do so. So another lie on this stream. Fantastic. Doesn't make him look good at all. But hey, want to know the final lie in all this? Think back to near the start of the video where I'd point out how Coyote had a very damning call with Zakolo, yet refused to release it because it also made him look bad. Remember how his excuse for not posting it was to make Zakolo mauled? Well, it would be interesting if something like that was said again now, wouldn't it? Something absolutely moronic. Oh yeah, where are those logs that Coyote had with Sappho? Uh, it might have been yesterday, might have been the day before, but on the same day, that was, I was like, well, Op's officially blown, so I redact out dev to my chats with Sappho, I wipe my Telegram chats, um... I Man, that's fucking real convenient! Oh yeah, I wiped everything. Yeah, the Op is dead, so that means all communication, all DM evidence, all of that stuff, I, I just deleted it, it's no big deal anymore. Excuse me? This is like when EDP said that he deleted all of his emails. This is That's literally what EDP said in his recent video where he was uh, interviewed by Obama. He was like, yeah, I deleted all my emails. I don't have any of that. I don't have any of the proof, but uh, you can trust me, bro. <laughs> this dude pulled the EDP to Pence. Yeah, I deleted everything. I don't even know where the fuck it is. <laughs> Amazing. That's amazing. Oh my god, that is fucking amazing. I love that. <laughs> god. I had the Telegram one still archived, so that's fine. Is it okay if Pizza asks that I give them the screenshots, which you said pretty much prove that you did nothing fucking wrong? Is that fine, or is that no-go, don't do it? At this point, I'm more inclined to say don't do it simply because... You know, he could have had this information, and at this point, I want to watch him continue to dig so that eventually I can just smack him with the shovel and bury him. Yeah, that's right. Coyote Lovely had been lying the whole time, and actually did have the logs with Sappho. He just won't show them to, what, make pizza mold. Because, yeah, there is proof that Coyote did indeed archive at least two months' worth of logs. On the 30th of December, the artist called Grim Art that Alex and Coyote used to get art during the gay op started to grow suspicious of the reasoning behind Coyote's commissions. This suspicion grew as Coyote started to ask for increasingly sexual art of Sappho and himself. All right, I think we should play this slow, not dive immediately into overly fetishy stuff, Keep it slow so she doesn't think it's strange that I'm going from a 3 to an 11, you know? She liked seeing me kiss her ass, so we'll have to keep to a similar theme with my Sona on her knees. But this time, she got panties on. My Sona has a collar on. She's holding him by the leash, and he's kissing her bulge. She's expressed she has this very intention of keeping her dick. So I think me remembering that about her will make it seem more endearing. Also, believe me, I won't be asking for any of this shit unless I think I need it to keep her talking and to keep her trust. This made Grimmart pull out of doing art for Coyote and Alex, as when Alex sent over the screenshots of his conversation with Coyote to Grim, Grim noticed a bit of a discrepancy with Coyote's attitude. Now, Alex didn't give me an export of his logs for Coyote, so we have to zoom in here a bit to see what's actually being said, but don't worry, we'll read it out. So, Grim sent a screenshot of a previous conversation, which says... Sounds good. It's a generally straightforward piece, but they may not enjoy making it. I'm enjoying seeing it, to be honest. It's just my Sona kneeling down Sappho's ass while she giggles and says, Who's my sweet boy? The conversation with Alex and Grimm continues. I think it's not meant literally, but no, I get it. I think it does. It doesn't make sense in any other context. I don't trust a fucking liar like Coyote Lovely. I'm not comfortable doing this anymore. Why do you think he's a liar, if I can ask? He said he enjoyed the thought of his Sona kissing Sappho's ass. And now he's saying he's disgusted by the thought of kissing the bulge. <laughs> Peaches, what the fuck? I was not born yesterday. You said he was disgusted by the ass kissing, even though he initially claimed he enjoyed it. Alex sends this conversation to Coyote and they both have a back and forth with Coyote saying this was a typo and how they would never enjoy this stuff, etc, etc, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since Grimmart is an avid Kiwi Farms user and they weren't being convinced with the excuses Coyote was giving them, this caused worries for Coyote as he started to believe the op was going to be blown. So Coyote tells Alex that he's in the process of archiving the Discord and Telegram chats with Sappho. 
I just know this is going to bite me in the ass later. I think it may be best to cut my losses now and stop the op. The last thing I need is this fucking brain surgeon trying to post that he thinks I'm actually into her somewhere on Kiwi Farms. If he did, I'd shut it down pretty quickly and it wouldn't go. From what I understand from what the chat's saying, the Coyote did admit that they were sexually attracted to Sappho and that their dick did the talking. From what I understand from what the chat told me, uh, Hannah Barry and a few others uh, who know more about the situation than I do. Uh, apparently, Leo got them to confess that they were uh, horny for Sappho. So it's just him running. Uh, what is it? Him just running uh, cover for himself. That's fucking retarded. Oh, anywhere. As for the op, your choice. You feel like we got anything worthwhile? No, I'm not chancing it. Last time I trusted somebody, I got manipulated for two years, and one of my personal fears is being thrown into the public and being judged for it. I'm not saying I don't trust you, but I'm saying I don't trust them to believe I'm genuine in wanting to get more info on Sappho. And the risk is now outweighing the reward. I don't know. I'm checking my DMs. He also admitted it to you guys. Jesus Christ, this guy's a fucking loser. DMs, I'm archiving both to Discord and Telegram ones, and in a week, I'm redact-deving them. So, yeah, Coyote did indeed archive the logs he had with Sappho, and just held them back because he wanted to mess with pizza and own him. Grow up, Coyote. This isn't just some stupid game for internet points. The main reason why it took from November to January for you to stop this nonsense, and from January to the end of February for Cass to bring anything up to light, is because of this conspiratorial nonsense, our aim to get an owner everyone. It has been so frustrating seeing this from everyone, but mostly you, Coyote. So, well done. You played yourself. <sighs> so, with a picture painted by the logs Alex gave to me on March 3rd, Coyote's past incidents and his attitude before, during, and after this whole debacle, the art appears to be nothing more than a way for Coyote to feed into his morbid curiosity and to get frisky with a public zoo and child predator. I literally don't want to listen to more. <laughs> I, just, I just don't want to listen to more. Uh, okay, okay. Somebody link me the Le the, uh the Leo Convoy conversation, because apparently he just bodies the fuck out of Coyote Lovely. Um, I will I will go over that, and then maybe I will go live again to, to have a different VOD so that all the furry shit isn't in this, and then we can cover the, uh, the Kavos thing. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. We might we might be doing two streams. We, we we might be doing two streams today. Oh god, it's a whole another hour. Where's the where where's a good timestamp to start? It doesn't seem like anyone has any timestamps on here. Looks like this is the most replayed. Okay, what is this? Think about how it affects other people, especially my family. 100% my family before everybody else. But then I think about how it affects the people around me. The fact that I'm one of the few people, I suppose, that has that level of three-dimensional thinking is goofy to begin with. But also, Coyote, in this call, to my knowledge, with the exception of Kira, and maybe Busy, you're the closest person to my age. You're in your 30s. How have you not developed that level of thought process yet? How have I not developed the level of thought process where I think, gee, I wonder how my actions on the internet are going to affect a random Discord server? Oh yeah, I wonder why. A random you Discord literally, server. you literally You're said in so... you, you literally said you... in the fucking stream that you told Lyo about the op. Thank you for repeating things we already know. A random Whoa, Discord you, you... server. Yif 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 Whoa oh whoa oh whoa yif yif oh whoa. Thank you for the two. God damn it. Coyote, you've been on live streams with people in this server multiple times. That's how you're linked to this server. You're an admin in here. Okay, I just don't understand why the first reaction anyone's gonna fucking have is, oh, Senate conspiracy. That makes no sense. Coyote, Since you're part of the fucking server! Oh my fucking god! Coyote, I'm part of fucking 50 I'm servers! It doesn't make it... Enough! Lustrous! I've been part of 50 fucking servers. It doesn't suddenly make it a conspiracy for all fucking 50. No, but you're an administrator here, and you and I are closely tied together, because I hate to tell you this, Coyote, we've been friends for four years. I've worked with you on things. I've been on your channel. You've been on mine. We have been in the freaking trenches for each other, Coyote. That's why. And I don't 
only do you pull this stupid crap without even checking with me until you've done it. But now you're saying, well, why should I think about that? Why should that be a thought process? Because when you care about people, you think about how your actions affect them. But you're right. It's just a random Discord server. LOL. Nothing on the internet affects real life. Despite the fact that you and I both have dealt with people who have been groomed on the freaking internet and reported them and exposed them and tried to get the victims done on justice. That's not going to fly here, Coyote. Damn. Not going to fly. Damn. You don't Damn. get the play that anymore. Damn. Holy shit. Damn. Just heard about the stream. Hope you like my video on the situation. My second deep dive video and part of my novice ability. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I have some people in the chat that have been dealing with this situation. Have were a part of the situation like Pizza and a few others. Uh, this shit is crazy peaches i can't believe that you and all these people had to deal with this shit uh <laughs> it's psychotic it's actually it's a psychotic situation and i agreed on some points uh that you had in in the retrospect of like these people that were just letting these people talk and not immediately condemning them or jumping on it and being like hey how come you're cool with this person I haven't seen the whole live stream, obviously, uh, from Cass's end. I've only seen the clip from there. But I do agree in that one specific clip that was shown that there should have been a little bit more fucking pushing. But that's just me. Coyote's lame as fucking bro. Coyote can hang himself. Karma, you don't have to worry about donating. Thank you so much for the five. But, like, um, Coyote's lame as fuck, bro. Coyote's a goddamn degenerate that needs to get electroshock therapy. Like, unironically, we need to let electroshock therapy back into the world um, because oh, we... Not much, but I'm sending some support from Soul and myself. Well, thank you, Karma. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. Uh, we need to bring back electroshock therapy, you know, like where we take the nodes and just go like this and they fucking shake. Like, we got to do a little bit more of that in the world uh, for people like this and Sappho. Just kind of like, like, literally just fucking melt their brain that that would be great that would be great i'm i'm wants light torture for zoophiles and maps yeah 100 <laughs> percent. i have i have no problem saying that Cosworth fox pushed sappho out at the end but it took 30 40 minutes to get there so it was too much time letting herself humanize herself rip i'm glad she was finally booted though her morals are garbo well yeah <laughs> Sappho is a piece of human dog shit. Like, human dog shit. Like, I know that she likes dogs. And she might enjoy being dog shit. But she's still degenerate in all of its forms. In every aspect is completely fucking degenerate. De-fucking-generate. And this person needs to be locked the fuck up. I don't know where the hell they are right now or what the fuck they're doing, but they need to be locked the fuck up. And Coyote needs to not come back. If I'm being perfectly honest, uh, judging by the information I've seen in front of me, I didn't really, I did enough research for mostly, it's like the Pulp Speech video and a couple of other things. I, I think for me, this person should never, ever, ever come back ever again this person should not return back to any form of commentary because the thing is, is that people say they're going to leave forms of commentary or these kinds of views or whatever they're not especially in this case there's no way this dude has the mental fortitude to switch up his content and do something completely different he will fall back into his old habits and then we're going to have a part two i can guarantee you just judging by the way that i heard him talking to leo about this um the clips I saw from the live streams and everything. This person's going to loop back. I swear to God, this person's going to loop back. Uh, he's going to come back and he's going to loop. He's going to loop and you're going to see him in another fucking controversy. It's definitely going to happen. I can guarantee that. I guaranteed one other person that had a lot of controversies and they fucking came back. Fuck this retard. Electroshock therapy. To the chair, bitch. Electroshock therapy. All right. Now, Chad, I want to ask you something. Since I'm, since I'm, I, I've, I've made my point pretty crystal clear on this. Uh, Sappho needs to go to jail. 
electroshock therapy needs to happen to both of these people and coyote should never return uh to youtube again because they're a danger to uh to people because they engage with somebody and try to reform somebody who is a map uh through apparently dmt or coming up with ideas of how to fix them which you have no right to do that or you shouldn't even waste your time doing that so chat i want to ask you do you want um a second live stream because i kind of want to go over the uh the cavos um what is called the cavos De uh gideon thing um let me know one's in the chat if you want it two's in the chat if you put it off for tomorrow oh by the way the arrest arrest warrant coyote said was in effect for sappho it was fake there was never a warrant okay so this dude's a fucking idiot then this dude's a goddamn fucking loser he needs to be strung up by his achilles tendons if he's going to lie about putting a goddamn fucking fake warrant out for a for a fucking proclaimed map at zoophile you sick degenerate fuck you lied about that you lied about setting police reports you go to hell you go to hell but thank you guys uh i guess we'll be doing a live stream uh, on the Cavos Deji stuff. Because I was there through the whole call and everything. And I've been in the trenches on that more than this. Uh, I thought this would just be like some fucking cringe thing we can watch. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, in about... Give it like 20 minutes. Uh, we will be going live again. I didn't want to do two live streams in one night. But fuck it. I don't have anything else going on. Um, we will be live talking about the Deji Cavo stuff. If Augie isn't going live, please tell me Augie isn't going live. Please tell me Augie isn't going live. Augie, Augie, Augie. Because if Augie goes live, I'm fucked. I'm going to get cocked. Okay, Augie has not gone live. Thank God. Okay, cool. So we will be live in about 20 minutes. Uh, thank you, Nerf, uh, Pizza, Hopeless, and... Um, and Henneberry, especially for kind of like keeping me informed on things that needed to be clarified on a little bit more. That's really good of you guys and really, really shows that you guys care about this situation. Uh, I will be live in about 20 minutes. Thank you all for watching. And if there's any updates and you guys, uh, you know, pizza and everybody, you can follow me on Twitter and you can relay some information and maybe I can help you fucking look at this shit even more in depth. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in 20 minutes.